a year, like the leaves, it comes. A magical night when bedtimes disappear and identities change. Trick or treat! When the ghouls and goblins of our souls are set free to roam the night and scarf candy. For the true believers, Halloween is the ultimate holiday. For me, it's the ultimate dork holiday. Halloween is for Halloweenies. Ah! Gotcha! You blinked! Wrong. Pete thinks I'm the weenie for not believing anymore. What happened to my Halloween spirit? Where did it go? And once it's gone, can it ever return? Pete and I were about to find out. And the answers would either save Halloween or destroy it forever. Son, but you gotta be a kid. I thought it was a scam, a dirty rotten two timing. But they were having such fun, just getting a slime and they won the contest too good to be true. And when I caught up, Nick, they said, It could be you, you could redo your room, a fine treasure we hit. There's just one hitch, son. Why you gotta be a kid? No written essays and tests are too hard. You don't have to be Einstein. Just send a postcard to win a Nick contest. That's all you gotta do. So I called up Nick and said, Can I have it too? I said, Your ears are plugged, you got the brains of a squid. But you can't win a prize, son, unless you're a kid. So I hung up the phone and I won't try again. Nick is the place where only kids win. Shucks. This is wise, guy. I'm frequency jamming, so listen quick. Or you know who shuts me down. You want to be a wise guy? Well, you gotta know this. Quiz ways. Very cool questions and very hot answers the that they don't want you to know. Like Madonna's movies, Moses Malone's paycheck. What's Prince's real name? Stuff like that. Answer the right answer. Yeah. Play with friends, play it alone. You got a quiz whiz to be a wise guy. Quiz whiz comes with a thousand and one questions. Over 20 other books and cartridges sold separately. Batteries not included.
Chigwood cooking up some Halloween goodies here. Would you care for some tater snots? <laughs> Oops. Oh. oh, I'm on the phone here with Laura from Newport, North Carolina. Laura, you ready to play? Yeah. Take a look at the neighborhood. All right, we've got houses with monsters and some prizes and other got 40 seconds. Where to first? Four. Four, okay, go all the way down the street. Oh, you've got to run down there. I'm biting my nails, I'm so excited here. Okay, go down to the dark chateau. See what you got, press the doorbell. Go. You got yourself a Sega Genesis 32XN video game. Oh, that's wonderful, where to next? Where to? Two. Two, okay, bad manner, go, 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 go. Down on the left. Okay, let's see what you get. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out of breath myself. Press the doorbell. You just won cool tools by Play School. Where to next? Six. Six. Okay, that's Rotten Acres right on the right. We gotta race that clock. Oh, there go the nails. Okay, five, four, three, two, go, 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 go. Oh, what you got? Sega, you got cool tools. We'll be Matt. Congratulations, we'll be back with more Nick or Treat right after these two minutes. 30 minutes, baby. Bye. Nick or Treat is brought to you by McDonald's McWorld and Cool Tools by Play School. What is it about Halloween that gets kids all wiggly? For some, it's eating enough candy corn to launch a lunar probe. But for my brother Pete, it's something much simpler. Immortality. Or, as it's known in Wellsville, the record. You see, 31 Halloweens ago, Greg and Judy Stilp trick-or-treated to 374 houses in one night. By midnight, they were legends. Gods. Like Apollo and Athena. Who? Apollo and Athena. They were brother and sister. Only Athena didn't have a mother, so she just sprang out of her father's head, ready to fight. I saw the picture. The record has never been broken. Me and Pete always tried. But then he quit. Athena never quit. I won't either. The thing you have to realize is that to Pete, Suction. Halloween isn't a holiday. It's a holy day. And a gutted gourd is a token of thanks to the Halloween gods. You are the chosen one. But even the truest of the true believers need a little help now and then. And that's where crossing guard Frank Gulcher comes into the story. Good day, citizens. Hey, Frank. Nice wheels. Born to be wild, huh? No. That's my surveillance assault vehicle. You need that thing to guard the crosswalk? Oh, no, no. I'm on special assignment, Chief. Halloween duty. I've been called to serve and protect Sector 17. Now listen up, you two. Tomorrow night, be sure to buddy up. Because they're out there. Oh, they're out there, all right. Pete knew exactly who they were. The Pumpkin Eaters. A pack of goons who turn Halloween into Halloween. No one knows their true identities. But every year, they rip through Wellsville like a twister, pulverizing the Halloween spirit of everyone who still believes. They are the dark nights of Halloween. Good buckets. You got that right, Chief. <clears throat> the thing is, uh, that if we don't stop the pumpkin eaters, this is uh, <clears throat> our last Halloween. What? I know how much it means to you, but I, I don't make the rules. The word just came down. Oh, remember, Chief, today's Devil's Night. 24 hours to the big show. Be careful out there. <laughs> Last Halloween. Wow. How's Pete taking it? Like someone punched his soul. Between you and me, I hope this is the last Halloween. I'm sick of it. Whoa. Check it out. It's like a pumpkin graveyard. Looks like this one got away. It used to bug me whenever I saw a smashed pumpkin. It just seemed so senseless. 
But that day, I finally understood. Maybe because I hated Halloween. Smash it. Do it. No one's looking. smell like tangerines? <laughs> oh, yeah. I licked mine once. Don't go ruining your appetite, boys. Because tonight, we're going to have us a little weenie roast. someone do this? I don't understand. I know it sounds crazy, but I couldn't help feeling like I was to blame for what happened. As if the Halloween gods had cursed Pete for the pumpkin I destroyed. And it didn't help that the next day... I'm sorry, Gumdrop, but I'd have to be an idiot to let you go trick-or-treating. Nona's pop pulled the plug on her Halloween plans. Love hurts. Pete, Mom told me about Nona. What are you going to do? Nothing. Can't break the record alone. Takes two people to haul the candy, remember? One more shot. That's all I wanted. Maybe it was loyalty. Maybe it was stupidity. But to this day, I still can't believe what I did next. Pete, I'll go with you. You you and me, together, remember? Don't yank my chain. I'm not. I'll go. You will? You what? Pete, you can't go trick-or-treating. It's no big deal. I know what this is about. So you smashed a pumpkin. Is that worth ruining your life? I think you're being a little dramatic. Dramatic? I'll give you dramatic. I got two words for you. Ellen, don't. Ned Richmond. Remember last year? How could I forget? Last Halloween, this 15-year-old thief named Ned Richmond went trick-or-treating. And the pumpkin eaters caught him. He got roasted for everyone to see. Ned's life has never been the same. Now nobody will go near him. Not even in the yearbook. But I can run really fast. Pete, please, don't do it. Once a Halloweeny, always a Halloweeny. You'll be scarred for life. I gotta go get ready. According to my brother, the record is one of mankind's greatest feats. Like landing on the moon. And if we broke the record, we'd be legends. Just like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. The first two men to walk on the moon. For me, I was just relieved that the visor covered my face. Pete was relieved too. Because he could actually relieve himself in his spacesuit. Ah. Uh, science. Ready, Commander Armstrong? Ready, uh, Buzz. So off we went into the unknown. Visions of Halloween glory surging through Pete's brain. Fear of being unmasked racing through my own. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Dr. Dreadful here, and this is the Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab. <laughs> Makes lots of gross things that taste great. Magic liquid and care for a putrid potion. No. Mm, tasty. Here, have a squirmy worm. <laughs> <laughs> now Dr. Dreadful's grossest goodies. Monster wart. Excellent. But Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab makes carbs of gross things again and again. Batteries not included. It's totally <laughs> The 80s was one wild decade. Monster hits. Simply irresistible. Fashionable rockers. You gotta fight. Party animals. Everything 80s. Two and a half hours of big hits on two CDs and cassettes. I'm still standing better than I ever did. Burning the house. Let's get physical, physical. Here I go again on my own. What I am is what I am. You what you are. Oh, what? You deserve to have all the riches of the 80s. Of course you do. Get everything 80s. To order, call the number on your screen or send check or money order. Two CDs, $26.99. Two long play cassettes, $21.99. Rush delivery available. Another ordinary day at school. Just like last year. Just like yesterday. Just like every day. Until you pull up with a busload of Nickelodeon celebrities and... Nick takes over! Nick takes over! Nick, Nick takes, takes over! over. Oh. Nick takes over your school! Now's the time to enter the Nick Takes Over Your School sweepstakes. Turn your music class into the ultimate concert. Turn your playground into the Nickelodeon Guts obstacle course. And the lunch menu... Come and get it. <laughs> To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, phone number, and age to the Nick Takes Over Your School Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 4914, Orlando, Florida, 32802. Win the grand prize, and Nick Takes Over Your School. The Nick Takes Over Your School Sweepstakes. Brought to you by Post Honeycomb Cereal, Skittles, and Starburst. And the place where only kids win, Nickelodeon. Prepare yourself for combat. Mortal Kombat action figures. Fight for right in your own tournament of champions. Liu Kang. Johnny Cage. Raiden. Get over here! Sub-Zero. Reptile in the Dragon MK1. Kino on the combat cycle. Mortal Kombat. It's not just a game anymore. Combat cycle comes with Kano. Dragon MK1 comes with Reptile. Other figures each sold separately. Oops, out of Fruit Loops. How convenient. D -d -d -d. Oh. Oh. Take me to those fabulous fruit-flavored Fruit Loops. Yes. Follow your news. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops. Oh, wow. Orange, lemon, cherry, lime. Mmm, berry. Kellogg's Fruit Loops cereal, a fruitful part of this complete breakfast. Delicious. She's really got a crush on them. To my show, you'll love my dance trio. One dance moves Barbie. Shannon from head to toe. When you rock my waist, my arms move to the beat. Doing a twirl, high kick and a beat. Now twist my hips and watch me go. Put it all together. Oh, what a show! One dance moves Barbie, and I wanna dance for you. Dance moves Barbie doll cannot dance by herself, but when you rock her waist, her arms do move. Don't soul separately. They've come in search of a treasure. What they'll find is adventure. Nick is turning up the heat for a legendary new season. Brave heroes must master a more dangerous moat. Take on wilder temple games. Discover Olmec's mysterious legends. And search the treacherous temple rooms to finally seize the great treasure within. The adventure continues. Watch it on an all-new season of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Weekdays at 6, 5 central, only on Nick. Oh, rope burn, rope burn, rope burn. Hi, how are you? Hunch person here, live at Nick or Treat with Alan from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Alan, you ready to play with us? Yes. Okay, here we go. Take a look at David. Whoa, David, that scared me. Okay, take a look. We got six houses, monsters, and some prizes, and others. You got 40 seconds. Where to first? Five. Five. Okay, let's go. Go down. Pump it down the street. Go down. 
take a right. Watch the ghost. Then take a right. Hang a right there and then press the doorbell. Ah, Real Monsters Home Video by Sony Wonder is yours. All right, where to next? Three. Three, okay, a state of shock. Go all the way down the street. I kind of had a hunch you'd go for that one. <laughs> I'm killing myself. Okay, watch the, press the doorbell. Prizes, what would I be doing with prizes? Oh, where to next? One. One, cough in, cough in, it's right to the left. Come on, Alan, come on, Alan. Drag your feet down there, come on, come on. What? You didn't get the lesson, but you got the monster home video. All real monsters. Are you excited? Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for playing with us. What's the only network where with network where only kids win? Nickelodeon. We gotta get that fixed. Nick or Treat is brought to you by McDonald's McWorld and Cool Tools by Play School. So it all came down to this one fateful Halloween. By midnight, all the questions would be answered. Would this be the last Halloween? Ah! Would Pete finally break the record? And would my Halloween-y secret remain a secret? Commander, prepare for lift off. Ready, set, go! But as I soon discovered, I wouldn't have much time for worrying, because Pete devised a battle plan that rocketed us through suburbia. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! You know the routine. Hustle. By 8 o'clock, just one hour into our 374 house quest, we knocked off 115 houses. From Chug Hill all the way to Sahara Mike Avenue. We were unstoppable. And as my Halloween spirit returned, I could feel it. It was a night for heroes. And unfortunately, villains because Pete and I weren't the only ones trying to change the face of Halloween. <laughs> we got a whizzed out Blackbeard situation here. We got a 10-9er and a tree. Send back up, Bronco. Oh, the humanity. Error in full force, I convinced Pete that we had to take evasive action. I knew that if the pumpkin eaters caught me, hello weenie town. So armed with Pete's knowledge of every shortcut in Wellsville, we began serpentining suburbia. But somewhere around house 203, the pumpkin eaters tightened their stranglehold on Halloween. Suddenly, it looked like our night of glory would be squashed by fear. But the spirit of Halloween could not be crushed. Wellsville refused to surrender. T minus 131 houses and counting. How you doing, Buzz? Over. Are you okay, Commander? Over. Energy supplement? Over. Let's move out. As we closed in on the record, I guess I got a little overconfident. But with only six blocks to go, I figured, what could go wrong? Tricker. Ah! Hooray, men from space! Ned Richmond. Hey, you're Pete Wrigley. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, Neil Armstrong. Oh, yeah, sure. Your secret's safe with me. Hey. Maybe we could go together next year. Huh, Riggles? Riggles. He called me Riggles. Oh. Shake it up, Commander. Come on. Pete, this is crazy. If they find me, I'll end up like Ned. Hey, maybe we could find someone else for you to team up with. 
We're the only Halloweenies left. We, we gotta get out of here. No! No! Come on! You promised! We're almost there! Come on! We can make it, Commander! No, we can't. Not alone. Not out there. It's over. That's what you think! I don't need you! Well, don't say I didn't warn you! I knew that I was being a spineless weasel. I knew that I was sucker punching Pete's dreams of glory. But I had to get home and lose the spacesuit. I just couldn't end up like Ned. Going my way, Halloweeny! was the last place a Halloween hater like me should have ended up, but it was the only place left to hide. tend to see red when you serve up anything but what is tomato sauce because what is never skimp on their special ingredients and top quality tomatoes twice the taste and twice as good because what is means good food <gasps> from other carpet cleaning methods? Kim Dry's cleaning solution is made from plant extracts, minerals, and carbonated water. The process is non-toxic, so it's safe for children, pets, and people with allergies. Kim Dry uses very little water. Your carpets dry quickly and evenly, and there's no soapy residue, so your carpet stays clean longer. Sunday night NFL on TNT looks at the linebacker, plays defense, roguishly independent, loves to hit people, feeds off intimidation, brute force, relentless pursuits. So what do you think happens when he has to wait till Sunday night to play? Yeah, there's something about Sunday night football. Sunday night NFL on TNT. The citizens of Elma have just discovered their own field of dreams. And if you mow it, they will run. Kick it out! From the people who brought you Disney's Angels in the Outfield comes the story of the craziest soccer team to ever hit the field. Big Green! Walt Disney Pictures, The Big Green, rated PG. Starts Friday, September 29th at a theater near you.
Come along with me. Wanna ride with you? My horse, high stepper, does something really cool. It's hard to believe what we see with our eyes. You walk all alone. What a surprise! Zero. Yeah. Take the trail to fun. High stepper, you know the way. Lead us to adventure. Let's ride every day. Yay. High stepper, we love riding with you. High stepper horse does not run la, or la, jump la, in la, any la, way, but when you turn her on, she walks. La, la, Batteries and dolls not included. Thanks, fella. Are you all alone? I'll help you get back home. Ronald checked the papers, called around. Oh, has anyone lost the dog I found? Have you seen Ben? Sorry, Mike. I'll never see my dog again. But Ronald knew what to do. Basic dog. That's you. Bark, bark, woof, woof. Bark, bark, woof. Oh, we're getting somewhere! Trees! Hydrants! My house on the right! Getting that dog home was quite a sight. There! Hi, Mike! Ben! Ronald, you found Ben! Come on! You guys need to play again. So thanks to Ronald, our story has a happy end. And now Mike knows he has two special friends. Ronald makes man. It is so weird delivering pizza in this neighborhood. I mean, that wasn't even a dog. That was a guy in a dog outfit. Hi, uh, Nick Retreat here, pizza dude here with Kyle from Kiwanee, Illinois. Kyle, you ready to play? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at the neighborhood. Watch out for the bag. Yeah, take a look at the neighborhood. There you go. You got six houses. You got prizes and some and monsters in the other 40 seconds. Where to first? Three. Three. Cool. Okay. A state of shock. Come on, man. Don't meander, you gotta get down there as fast as you can. Take a left, press the doorbell. Ah, Real Monsters video game is yours! Cool! Okay, where to next? Five. Five, okay, you're in a roll, come on. All right, you gotta go down here. The second house, you gotta hang a Ralph. Okay, Ralph is there. Good, press the doorbell. Prizes! What would I be doing with prizes? There's more. Where, where to next? Two. Two. Bad manner. It's on the left, okay? Second house on the left. Come on, you gotta go down and hang a Louie. Come on. Turn quick. Get there. Three, two, one. Press it. You will. Uh, you know you didn't get that last one, but you got monster video game, Cal. Cool, all right? Hey, would you like a slice of uh, what, what kind of pizza? Ah! We'll be right back. Oh. Nick or Treat is brought to you by McDonald's McWorld and Cool Tools by Play School. this holiday. Yeah, well, it hates you too. Leave me alone. You hear me? You're the reason I'm in this whole mess. Sue yourself. It's nice knowing you, traitor. At that moment, I didn't care what happened to Halloween. All I cared about was me. Tang, you're dead. Well, well, well. It isn't 
the biggest Halloweeny of them all. The last house. The final frontier. I'm one house away, jerkweed. I told you I didn't need you. What do you want from me? Nothing. Except your soul. <laughs> Come on. Ah! Let's hang them upside down from the goalpost. Hey, yeah. What's going on? No time to the roof hey. rack and drive around town. No, no. I've got something special planned for this one. What are you going to do to me? Well, that depends on what you do for me. Bite my scalp! Why? Why now? Yesterday, we saw you, Ridley. You smashed a pumpkin. Oh, it was beautiful! And now, now here you are in this pathetic excuse of a haunted house, hating Halloween even more! Just like you. Exactly. Ridley, we can destroy Halloween together, smash the pumpkin, and together we'll toast the death of Halloween! <laughs> and if I don't? Two words. Ned Richmond. Do it. You know you want to. You felt it yesterday, and you feel it now. I could feel it. At that moment, I had more power in my hands than I've ever had in my life. The power to crush the spirit of Halloween forever. But would I? Could I? Do it! No one's looking! Sorry to hear that. Endless Mike? What'd you expect, Carrothead? Mr. Tasty? Fry this week! Like I said, dirtbags, not on my watch. Where are you going? Coward! I'll destroy you too! Oh, I will! Trick or treat, gut bucket! Head. In space, no one can hear you scream. No more Commander, our work here is done. In the end, Pete was right. It was a night for heroes. The next day, with the pumpkin eaters unmasked and in custody, the cleanup began. You missed a spot. Stooge. It was the last time their kind ever haunted our town. As for Pete, he didn't break the record. But that was okay. Maybe next year. Because he achieved greatness in another way that night. So did I. We helped save Halloween in Wellsville. Now, every year, when the leaves come, so does Halloween. Setting free the ghouls and goblins of our souls for one magical night. Especially for two brothers who will always believe. That plane is so too far.
Meet the people behind the scenes at Nick at Night All Night. Hi, I'm Joe the janitor. Hello, janitor, mop, my locker, the clean one. You know, tidiness is a pretty special thing to some pretty special people. Like Donna Reed. How does she do it? How does she clean with the dress and the pearls? I tried that stuff, and I couldn't do it. She cleans that house of hers all day long, and I do it all night. Wait a minute. I don't clean her place. I clean this place. Nick at night. All night. Oh, what? 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 Huh? What's the matter? You're having a nightmare. But this is no dream. More relentless terror comes your way on Halloween Madness, a night of fright on Nick at Night. Good evening. Before we begin our play, I would like to demonstrate the training method we use here at the Hitchcock Actors Studio. You see, we give the students symbols or certain images to assist them in portraying character. Because of the type of character our Miss Schmelz was to portray, we suggested that she think of herself as a tree. I think she projects it very well. Thank you, Miss Schmelz. Our next student, Mr. Blackwood, was asked to portray a large, jowly captain of industry. And to help him, we suggested that he think of himself as an elephant. Excellent. In all honesty, I must admit that Mr. Blackwood has been with us longer than Miss Schmelz. And now, after this brief acting demonstration, we bring you tonight's story preceded by tonight's commercial. Thank you, Mr. Blackwood. That will be all, Mr. Blackwood. I said that will be all, Mr. Blackwood. Mr. Blackwood. So, you thought this was going to be just an ordinary Halloween. Well, this Halloween, Nickelodeon's giving away candy and a whole lot more as we unleash... Nick or Treat! The first annual Nick or Treat Halloween giveaway. Get a pen, get a piece of paper, get your two best friends, and get your parents. Parents? Because you're spending Halloween weekend in Hollywood. You'll fly first class to the home of the movies, live it up in the posh Sheraton Premier Hotel, you'll have a chauffeur-driven limousine, and 500 bucks to spend any way you want. Then... Welcome to the Berman Studio. And I'm Tom Berman. Hollywood's wizard of special makeup effects on movies like Star Trek 3 and Close Encounters will transform you into almost anything. Imagine a Halloween costume so fantastic even your mother won't know you. Plus, you and your friends will each get a Viewmaster Gremlin gift set. And your weight in delicious milk chocolate M&M. Melt in your mouth, not in your costume candy. To win, send a postcard with your name, address, age, and phone to Nick or Treat. GPO Box 2726, New York, New York, 10116. And get it here by October 15th. You gotta be 16 or under to enter. 100 runners-up get Viewmaster Gremlin gift sets. Enter now and win. It's Nickelodeon. Biggest contest ever. Where will you find the loonies of late night TV? Maybe on a show about new age real estate. Maybe on Psychic Love Chat. But if you're looking for the loonies you love, look no further than Nick at Night. That's right. Nick at Night Overnight now begins with Looney Tunes, providing your late night with a dose of the gleeful, mindless violence you need when you need it most. So take a TV land detour into cartoon country. What more could a rabbit want? And watch Looney Tunes on Nick at Night, most nights at midnight, 11 Central. Creepy Clowers! They're squirmy and wormy and purple and green, the grossest little creatures that you've ever seen. Creepy Clowers! Fill the monster mold with the colored plastic goop And make a creepy crawler from a yucky monster soup They're ucky, yucky, squirmy, wormy, very scary, sometimes hairy, squiggly, wiggly, creepy crawling Creepy crawlers! 
gross out your sister, embarrass your dad. You can be a little creep without being bad. Creepy Crawler's Workshop with Plasti Goof. A haunted mansion at Long Branch is a living, breathing nightmare of more than 30 incredible rooms, each with its own very special surprise. Wander through its myriad of secret passageways and winding labyrinths. Discover the graveyard of the living dead and its unimagined terror. There's Renfield and his spiders, the Prince of Darkness, Count Dracula, and many more. At the haunted mansion at Long Branch, it's waiting for you. Hitchcock's not done with you yet. Honest. So stay with Nick at Night. The total number of cheese pops that you've eaten during championship wrestling and church picnics would add up to one profound puff. But you still wouldn't have a taste as big as these little Gino's pizza rolls. A tremendous taste of zesty pizza and a hot little bite-sized snack. A taste so big it makes cheese puffs seem a little flat. Gino's Pizza Rolls, the pizza way to snack. Look who lost 354 pounds, and here's how. Well, I lost 30 pounds in three months with Ultra Slim Fast. I lost 25 pounds in three months. I lost 40 pounds in four months with Ultra Slim Fast. I lost those last 10 hard-to-lose pounds in only a month. They all did it with a delicious Ultra Slim Fast shake for breakfast, another for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. You want to feel great? Loose weight. If, if we, we can, can do, do it, it, you can, can do, do it. it. Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. Will today be a beautiful day for your hair? television. Bart. Come on, Bart, wake up. Bart. What is this, the Johnstown Flood? Looks like a disaster area to me. Well, I had a little, uh, bash up here last night. I was entertaining a couple of old buddies. So I see. Well, you won't tell Marge, will you? I'm your agent, not your bodyguard. Sure, my agent. So what do you want, 10% of my hangover? All I want is you dressed and sober for that audition. Audition? So help me anyone clean out of my mind. Yeah. Well, I've been out of my skull trying to get hold of you. So how'd you get in? Marge gave me her key. It's a good girl. Yeah. Why don't you marry her? Well, the audition, huh? How much time we got, Ed? We're an hour late already. Well, the shave and shower in ten minutes. You sure you feel all right? Well, there's nothing wrong with me that a good Obama couldn't fix. Bart, listen, though, an audition with Wellman is important. Believe me, you could use a part in a hit play. Yeah, I know it. Uh, my landlord told me. Look, don't worry, pal. We'll be sitting in uh, Wellman's lap in half an hour. Yes, Mr. Robinson, I do realize you've called several times. But you must understand, he's terribly busy. For 45 minutes we've been hanging. Yes, now, where's the action? Relax, baby. You kept him waiting? Yes, I He have keeps you waiting. You want a bet? Oh, excuse me, Cleopatra. Thought I heard your boss calling. Well, he didn't ring. Well, of course not. He's uh, too impatient. Uh, just can't wait to see his old friend Bart Collins all the way from Hollywood. 
Oh, but he doesn't like to be disturbed. Oh, sure he does. Now, you go ahead. See my people. Yes, sir, I certainly do. Bard boy, good to see you. Hello, Ed, Mr. Wellman. Please forgive us. I'm sorry we were late. You both know Jerry Lane, don't you? Know him. Jerry was the life of my party last night, weren't you, Jerry? Oh, this guy drinks straight orange juice like it was water. He's wild. Well, many <laughs> thanks, Mr. Wellman. I'll contact your agent tomorrow. It's a uh, nice reading, Jerry. Thank you, sir. Very nice. That boy's an interesting actor. Too bad there isn't something to play for him. Well, I'm not so sure. Well, there's only one part open. That's right. The lead, my part. Now, wait a now, minute. Now, hold it, Bart. You'll get your chance. Mr. Wellman, this boy went to the expense of flying all the way back from California just to audition for you. I appreciate that, Ed. And I want very much to hear him. But that doesn't mean I can't consider other actors. Let's go inside, shall we? Bart, come on. I think you've had enough. Yeah, I've had it all right, all the way up to here. Let's face it, Marge, things are getting rough. I bombed out on the television, I goofed on the movie, and now I'm following up on a play. Come on, Bart, it's not the end of the world. Now you'll get another chance. I had my chance today until Jerry Lane got into the act. But didn't you tell me Wellman hasn't decided yet? And Jerry has a perfect right to try. He's a good actor. What are you, his lawyer or something? Hey, wait a minute. Don't tell me that you and old Jerry have been swinging while I've been out on the coast. Of course not. We've just had a few dates together. Fun things. Fun things, huh? You and old Jerry. Oh, hey, Lady Chatterley, why don't you get us another jolt, huh? Not for me, thank you. Please, Bart. Yeah, well, I'm celebrating. But there's nothing to celebrate yet. Oh, yes, there is, chick. There's lots to celebrate. Here's to you and my good friend, Jerry Lane. He's just the guy for the park. Thank you, Lolita. Hey, why don't you drop back here after you knock off and maybe we can work out a, a fun thing together, huh? Will you sit down? I don't care if you drop dead. I, uh, I want to explain about the audition. You mentioned the part last night, but I never gave it another thought. Then this morning, my agent called and said he'd set up an audition with Wellman. That's how it happened. Sure. Say, uh, not to change the subject, but you owe me ten bucks. Ten bucks? Yeah, don't you remember the other night at the party? You borrowed it for the dice game. Oh, yeah. And I got total. Sorry, chum, no bread today. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go someplace where it's quiet. We'll go to my place. I can't stand these crazy drums. Matter, don't you dig the classics? It's Beethoven's fifth. And speaking of fifth, hey, come on, lay off, boy. So matter, don't you think I'm cool enough? You see these cyclopedias? Marge gave me to me for my birthday last year. Never opened. I don't have to because I got it all right up here. Marge is a wonderful girl. Yeah, she's a real swinger. When I got back last week, she gave me that. 
That's the best ice bucket in the world. That's what I call really a useful gift. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Come on, Bart, let's cut all this jazz. What's the matter? Don't you appreciate my acting? What do you know about acting anyway? I'm learning. Learning what? How to steal somebody else's part? Now, look, let's not start that again. I told you it was my agent who sent me up there. Look, you have no right to read for Weldon because you're a rotten actor, Jerry. You're rotten. Look who's talking. Yeah, well, at least I know what I'm doing. I live my roles. That's the big secret. You gotta feel the part. With all that booze floating in you, you're too numb to feel anything. Yo, that's a lie. Look, you see my pictures. You know that I can project. Sure, so did the critics. That's why you're here. I'm here because I'm right for that part, and Wellman knows it. You couldn't play that part in a million years. Yeah? Why not? Because you haven't got the guts. It takes guts, feeling, and emotion. Now, listen, Jerry, this, uh, this character's got a temper, hasn't he? Huh? I visualize him as a, an emotional type, yes. Yeah, well, never mind the, uh, never mind the visualize bit. You gotta live it. Now, take the scene where he flips his wig. You mean the one where he chokes his father-in-law? Yeah, he really means it. He wants to strangle him. Here, let me show you. I'm not up on the lines, Bart. Come well, on. Who needs the lines? It's the feeling that counts. You play for real. You want to show hate, then you think hate. That's that's the secret. Here, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> now, I'm not thinking about any lines now, because I have come to think the real hate. Hey, come on. Now, let go. now, you feel it, Jerry, the real hate? Come on. Now, because you drink your orange juice like a good boy, and you wake up young and fresh for the audition, hey, because you're taking my part, Jerry, my last chance, huh? Because I hate you, Jerry. Do you feel it, Jerry? Do you feel it? Jerry. Jerry? 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 Hi there, I'm Dumpy the Pumpkin. Carvel's Halloween Ice Cream Cake. I weigh 44 ounces and serve 10 to 12 people. Happy Halloween party! I'm Wiki the Witch, and I weigh 45 ounces. We're both made fresh daily at your participating Carvel Ice Cream Store. You want to send one to a friend? Please phone 800-327-GIFT and call the cake honors most major credit cards. Thank you. Epic miniseries spanning generations of greed and deceit. Sidney Sheldon's Master of the Game, beginning March 20th exclusively on TBS. Hello, I'm Cedric Glover, host of the Shreveport Channel, What's Going On? Join me this Tuesday and every Tuesday where we'll be discussing issues that affect you the most, issues that hit you at home and in the heart. That's this Tuesday. And every Tuesday on the Shreveport Channel, Cable Channel 6. So, you want to know the story of Splatterhouse, the new horror video game for TurboGrafx-16? They say he stalks the old haunted mansion. They say he's looking for his girlfriend. They say his only weapon against the maggot eaten ghouls who took her is a two by four. And you say you want to play this game? Splatterhouse. Only for the TurboGrafx 16 system from NEC. Three things they haven't ruined yet Afternoon Shadows. 
the Papa Matic. Man Talk with Steve. Girls are, uh, well, they're sort of like caterpillars. Count on Nick at Night. Today's Duracell batteries keep punching into the final round because they're built to last even longer than the ones we made just a few years back. Duracell. You can't top the copper top. Fever. I am Mindy, Catwoman from Mars. Catch it on Mork and Mindy, weeknights on Nick at Night. service, Mr. Collins. I don't need you. Go away. But it's Friday. So let it go until Monday. Don't you even want your beds made and first towels for the bathroom? But don't worry about the bathroom. I'll clean up the mess in there myself. Marge, I know you couldn't reach me. I had the phone shut off. I told you I'd be busy for a couple of days. Maybe I could see you this afternoon. Where are you now? Downstairs in the lobby. Now, Marge, wait. Wait!
Are you there? Just straightening up. Sure, you weren't hiding another woman. Now, where would I hide anyone around here? Well, you managed to hide yourself pretty good. Although, Ed, I didn't expect to see you. He came with me. What gives here? You two ganging up on me? I couldn't reach you by phone, so I thought I'd better get in touch through Mark. Hey, where are you going? Powder my nose, if that's all right with you. Not in there. Why not? Bart, have you got somebody hidden? Nobody. Go ahead. Thanks. Hey, level with me. What's been happening? I've just been straightening out, that's all. By straightening out, you mean, uh, getting stiff? No, Ed, that's finished. Uh, I've sworn off. Oh, fine. That's the only thing I was worried about. Bart, I've got some good news for you. Let me tell him. Wellman's changed his mind, darling. He's giving you the part. We're going to celebrate. Thank you. It's heavy. It's full of ice cubes. Bart, you don't seem too excited by the news. No, I am. I am. I'm... Just stunned, sort of. This Grand Central Station. Lieutenant Gunderson, special detail. I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Well, sure, come in. Oh, I didn't realize you had company. Quite all right, Lieutenant. This is uh, my fiance, Miss Ridgeway. Agent Ed Bowling. Lieutenant. Hot day, isn't it? <laughs> uh, tell you why I'm here. We're checking up on a friend of yours named Jerry Lane. Jerry? What's the matter? Is he in trouble? Well, that's just it, miss. We don't really know. He seems to have dropped out of sight since last Thursday evening. His agents asked us to try to locate him. Well, I wish we could help you, Lieutenant. Uh... Well, maybe you can. According to reports, you were the last person he was seen with. Me? Thursday evening at the Empty Room Cafe. You and he left there together around 11 o'clock. That's right. Poor guy was so loaded, I had to help him into a cab. Go on. Well, that's all. He climbed into a cab and I came home. You sure Jerry Lane didn't come home with you? Well, why should he? Now, you tell me. I have the night clerk's word for it. He saw you and another man come in downstairs around midnight last Thursday. The other man answers Jerry Lane's description, but nobody's seen Lane come out. Well, in that case, Lieutenant, he must still be here. Why don't you take a look around? Well, thanks, if, if you don't mind. Be my guest. The bedroom through the alcove, the bath, and the... Kitchen. Bart. Jerry wasn't up here, was he? Of course not. Oh, I've been so worried about you lately, I just didn't know what to think. Well, now you know. I was fighting off the temptation of that demon rum. It's as simple as that. I'm glad. Funny, isn't it? Here, I spend all my hard-earned money to buy you this beautiful ice bucket, and then you swear off drinking. Maybe I better take it home with me. No! I was only kidding. 
I want it for sentimental reasons. Bart, is something wrong? Bart, I'm worried about Jerry. Where do you think he disappeared to? Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Thanks for letting me look around. Uh, any time, Lieutenant. So I'll have to have another talk with that night clerk. <laughs> Don't lean on him too much. You know, uh, we all make mistakes. Hmm. Would you care for a drink before you go, Lieutenant? We're celebrating getting a job. Yeah, well, thanks, but I'm on duty. You see, nobody wants a drink. Well, I do. But if you've really sworn off, you'll just have to get used to watching other people drink. Sure you won't change your mind, Lieutenant. After all, it is a celebration. Just one, Lieutenant. Well, maybe I will have a glass of ice water. That isn't too much trouble. Well, what are you doing? Just getting some ice for the lieutenant. Well, I'll get some ice cubes out of the refrigerator. But, darling, don't you remember you told me this was sterile? I told you to keep your hands off! How did you dispose of the rest of the body? Mr. Blackwood, Mr. Blackwood, this is most upsetting, especially to Miss Schmelz. He had a date to take her to dinner after class. Perhaps you should give me another minute. Mr. Blackwood. Oh, what? 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 Wake up! Huh? What's the matter? You're having a nightmare. But this is no dream. More relentless terror comes your way on Halloween Madness. A night of fright on Make It Night. choose to try new Seven Seas free non-fat dressing because it's fat free and cholesterol free, please be careful. This new product has extremely bold taste. So bold we just had to warn you. This week, America's most popular brand of appliances on sale at Sears Brand Central, where this giant 20 cubic foot Kenmore refrigerator with adjustable split shelves is at its lowest price ever. But only while quantities last and only at Sears Brand Central. Little goblins will be out long after dark, so I depend on Duracell batteries to light their way, because Duracell lasts longer. Tests prove after just a few hours of continuous use, regular carbon batteries wear out. But you can get up to five times more use from Duracell batteries. That's why I trust my kids' safety at night to Duracell. Duracell. The copper top battery. No regular battery looks like it. We're home! Or lasts like it. Hitchcock's not done with you yet. Honest. So stay with Nick at Night. Today, there's important news on women's health. A woman's body can go through a lot, any gynecologist will tell you. Becoming a woman, childbirth, vaginal yeast infections. It's important that now most women can cure their own recurrent vaginal yeast infections. Gynalotrimin, prescribed millions of times by gynecologists, has just become available without a prescription, full strength, so women can immediately begin their cure. Only Gynalotrimin brings early treatment, early cure. Gynalotrimin. 
Now through Easter at Payless, our entire stock of $9.99 shoes are on sale at two for $17.99. Any combination? Yeah, you can pick two pairs of pumps. This is too much fun. Try a pump and a pair of kids' shoes. Too practical. Okay, how about two pairs of flats? Too tempting. Or two pair of kids' shoes. Too cute. The Payless 2 for $17.99 sale is too big to miss. Sale ends March 30th, so hurry or you'll be too late. Ah, uh, too bad. Next week, we shall be back with another story. As for this incident, I have become philosophical about it. After all, we may have lost a student, but we have gained a mascot. Good night. Favorite shows, your favorite stars, watch Nick at night, that's where they are, Nick at night. The game's 13 Dead End Drive, where you can get rich by accident. It's nighty night for the hairdressers. Someone will inherit a fortune, but everyone's dying to bump you off. A little trip for the fortune teller. First out of 13 Dead End Drive, while their picture is above the mantle, wins. Lights out for the boyfriend. The fun's alive with 13 Dead End Drive. And now, an important message from the president of show business. Hello, I'm the president of show business. Hello, president. Two telephones, picture with Goulet. I'm here to present Nick and Knight with the highest award in showbiz, The Busy. They won't show any old dreck. It's good TV. The laughs, the tears. The Busy. Nick at Knight, you're good TV. And hey, Nick, let's do lunch. I gotta go. Sammy's in the other office. What's new, Betty? My cake that's new. And new night frosting, too. You sweet talker, Betty Crocker. This is light? I love it. 94% fat free. They belong together naturally. Don't forget me, Dad. Betty, you know where it's at. All the fun without all the fat. You sweet talker, Betty Crocker. It's back. It's more frightening than before. Stephen King's epic, The Stand, for the first time, complete and uncut. Experience the terror of 350 pages you weren't allowed to see before. This beautiful 2495 hardcover is yours for just $7.95 when you enter the chilling world of the Stephen King Library. Imagine an exclusive collection of horror, Pet Cemetery, The Shining, Christine, the chart toppers, the books that became blockbuster movies. And get King's new releases as soon as they're published, all in the original hardcover editions, all at just $14.95 each, all with a cancel anytime guarantee. Call now, and the stand is yours to examine for 10 days. If you're not scared out of your wits, return it and cancel. But if you want the terror to last, we'll send you a new volume about every seven weeks, each with a free 10-day exam. If your blood curdles at the thought of commitment, don't worry, there's never an obligation to buy. Possess the stand now with no risk when you enter the unearthly world of the Stephen King Library, where the master is coming back to haunt you.
Call 1-800-338-3100 now to get the stand. Keep it and pay $7.95 plus shipping and handling. Future volumes will come, one every seven weeks, each with a 10-day free trial. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. Call 1-800-338-3100. <laughs> Things a little slow today, Murr? Yeah. How would you like an exclusive story? I'd love it. My fan club is having its annual Ted Baxter Bridge Tournament tonight. Oh, that's exclusive, all right. Last year, they couldn't find a fourth. <laughs> Mayor, would you like to play? Oh, gee, Ted, I would. I'd like to, but I've got an aunt from my hometown coming in, and I'm going to take her to dinner and a movie. Well, why don't you bring her to a TV show? Well, I don't think there are a lot of famous TV shows done here in Minneapolis. Oh, wait a minute, Mary. I think you're missing Ted's point. I think she'd find it inspiring to watch a top-flight newscaster in action. I mean, not just reading the news, but uh, the inside stuff. Wardrobe, makeup, the way I make that fist before I go on. <laughs> you know, all that inside stuff. Uh -huh. Mary, did you finish that letter? Oh, yes, sir. I'll get it for you. What are you doing here? Just trying to keep up the troops' morale, Lou. Does he really believe that? Incredible. Here it is, Mr. Grant. Oh, thanks. Fix me a drink, will you? Can't fix his own drink. I'm not a bartender. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Bye! <laughs> Mr. Grant, there is an intercom. Yeah, I know, but I figure this way is more personal. <sighs> you write up that story to the South American Revolution? Yeah, I have a standard story. I just fill in the name of the country, the names of the generals, etc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm going home and change my dress before I meet my aunt. You better. You smell like a distillery. <laughs> <laughs> a great distillery. <laughs> Just know. <laughs> what did he take, Mary? Everything. All of my clothes. Everything. Even my brand new cape that I haven't finished paying for yet. Oh, Mary, it won't do any good to get angry with him. Criminals are misunderstood enough to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> well, stealing my cape is not going to help him in his quest for understanding. Especially if he wears it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoever did it was drinking heavily at the time. <laughs> And this is it. I haven't got a thing to wear. You know, that's probably the first time that a woman has ever said that and has really been true. Hey, I'll loan you something. Mary, you can borrow a dress from me. Oh, thank you. You are both so thoughtful. Yes, Rhoda, that's very thoughtful of you, dear. But Mary and I have the same taste. Good. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, 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 oh, nothing. Mary, Mary, look at 
Oh, that is really rotten. Out. Poor Mary. It's all right. We're going to get some. Mary, it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'm going to close it. Sure. I'm going to be able to meet my aunt. I'm going to give it a bite. Oh, thank goodness. I told you. Where is he? Who? You made a phone call? I did not make no, the phone call. Who made the phone call? Well, she, did you make the phone call? she dialed. Well, who lives no. here? Uh, she, she lives here. She lives downstairs. She the... lives upstairs. Oh, you uh, listen, you, you can you put are... the uh, guns away because about the uh, phone call, actually, we were just uh, kidding about the uh, gunman part. <laughs> you were kidding about a gunman? Hey, fellas, let's look at the positive side. True, there's no gunman, but there was a robbery. If there was no gunman, why did you say there was a gunman? She wanted you to come quickly. What else you girls do for her laughs? To turn in false alarms? Oh, that's me. Um, over here. I mean, I, uh, I wasn't drinking it. I just, uh, I spilled it on my person. Uh, <laughs> would you like to see the scene of the crime? Uh, Tully, see what's missing. It's right in here. Yeah, check. Officer, I'm Phyllis Lindstrom, and I'm aware that all over the country there is controversy concerning the police. I just want you to know that I have an open mind. That's nice. Jackson, there's certainly a lot missing in that closet. Oh? Uh, can I have your name, please? Yes, sir. It's uh, Mary Richards, and I am the uh, Rob E. Victim. <laughs> Uh, Rhoda Morgenstern. I'm oh, her yeah. friend. Officer Tully. I'm Phyllis Lindstrom. Oh, I live downstairs. Nice to meet you. Yes, uh, we met in the in closet. The closet. Yes. <laughs> this is uh, Officer Jackson. All right, if we're through with the introductions, would you girls like to sit down? I'd like to ask Miss Richards exactly what happened. Uh, Miss Richards, exactly what happened? <laughs> I was robbed. Somebody came into my apartment and stole all of my clothes. And my TV. At least they didn't take your records. That's right, that's right. At least they, they did not take my records. But they took my stereo. Oh. oh, gee, that's too bad. What time did this happen? I don't know. It must have been while I was at work. Oh, then you weren't robbed. I wasn't? You were burglarized. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Officers, continue your questioning. Mary, I'm going to get you a dress. I'll get you a better one. <laughs> when did you first realize that there was a robbery? A burglary. Uh, when I came home about ten minutes ago and looked in my closet and noticed that there was nothing in it. Uh, is there anyone you suspect? No. Jackson, no suspects. <laughs> this next question that I am going to ask you, you, you may think it's a very personal type of question, but... For those of us who have taken the exam to be a detective, as, as we know, it uh, has to be asked. Does anyone else have a key to your apartment? No. I didn't think so. Jackson, there's something very intriguing about this case. Yeah, I wonder what. Leave the detecting to the detectives. I want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, excuse me. Well, uh, be right. You always have to put me down in front of people. Only when you start acting like Ironsides. You're acting like Ironsides. Officers, I do hate to seem to be rushing things, but I really have to get going. Uh, just be a few more minutes. Jackson, why don't you check the window sash over there? Huh? Mary, here's a dress for you. It's brand new, never been worn. Oh, Phil. Here it is, Mayor. It has 10,000 miles on it, but it's just back from the cleaners. Right, this one on. Oh. That's the brakes, Phil. Holly, come on. Wait a second. Would you wait a second? I want to see how she looks in it. <laughs> Officer Tully, you know, Bess, that, that's my daughter. Oh, Officer Jackson should be here. He would appreciate this. Bess came home from school the other day and she said, the, the, the policeman is our friend. <laughs> that's very nice. Uh, I'll tell Officer Jackson. You know what I said to Bess? I said, Bess, you are absolutely right. Gives you an idea of the fantastic conversations they have about <laughs> Well, one thing's good. Mary won't have to worry about being robbed again. Oh, that's, that's not necessarily true. You see, many times they come back to the same place. Do me a favor. Don't tell Mary that. Mm. I heard. <laughs> oh. Is that true? Oh, you look terrific. That's a great color for you. Thank you. Is that true what you said, that they sometimes come back? 
Oh, seldom, very seldom. And if you need any help, just, you know, call and ask for 1636. All right, uh, extension 1636. Uh, no, no, badge 1636. Badge. I don't have an extension. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, my, uh, nice meeting you, girls. Yeah, yeah. Tully, we'll have to do this again sometime. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I hope your aunt doesn't think that's a maternity dress. <laughs> giving me the extra half hour. I think I got some really good dresses. Anything big happening around here? Nothing. The biggest story of the day is that somebody talked at the Paris peace talks. <laughs> Boy, you know, I never realized what a hassle being robbed could be. The man at the insurance agency acted as though he thought I did it. You said a claim yet? Yeah, I signed yesterday and got the check today uh. for about 20% of what my clothes were worth. Well, at least they paid off quickly. Yes. And then they canceled my policy. <laughs> that figures. They love you as long as you never have a claim. Hey, Mayor, did you buy some new clothes? Oh, yes. Oh, I bought a sport coat that color. Brings out my eyes. <laughs> Which one, the blue or the pink? <laughs> Start writing. Red China just signed a mutual defense pact with Albania. Albania? That's the capital of New York, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I've got to go watch a show on educational television. <laughs> Sesame Street. That reminds me, there's some really great television on tonight. And I won't be able to watch it. They stole my TV. You can come over to our place and watch it. Oh, there. thanks, Murray. No, I guess I'll just stay home and have a good time listening to my records. <laughs> no. Well, I'll just stay home and have a good time cleaning my oven. <laughs> Suicide Squeeze. Bust him up on Dead Man's Curve. You must beat him and beat me. Escape my evil eye and win. New from Pyco. Haunted Highway. Electric Racing. Battery not included. I've got my eye out for you. Hello, I'm Walter Clausen. Please join us each week on Dateline Shreveport on the Shreveport Channel, Cable Channel 6, where I will interview members of the news media, local news media, and they will attempt to explain to you the ramifications of current events on the Arklatex. We'll try to make it interesting and informative. So join us on Dateline Shreveport. Fifteen to the open. Stand by on A. Coming to A in ten, nine, eight, One's got the opening seven. Shot. Six, five, three, four, eight. three, two, one. It's time for Electronics Plus, exclusively on the JCPenney Shopping Network. Tune in to the JCPenney Shopping Network, Channel 3. You were just lucky today. Hey, I've been working on it. You know how I hate to lose. You know what else? I hate losing my hair. Me too. That's why I did something about it. I called up John. They sent me a brochure. I went to see my doctor. It was definitely a smart move. Hmm. Now I feel great. I think I still have it. Up John even sent me 10 bucks after I saw my doctor. Here it is. Only your doctor has hair loss treatment programs proven to work. To receive your $10 certificate, names of doctors in your area who can recommend what's best for you, and a free brochure describing your options, call 1-800-753-6081. Not bad. Maybe I'll call him. What do you mean, maybe? Come on, there's the number. Go do it. All right, all right. I'll call. For your $10 certificate, simply call toll-free 1-800-753-6081. Because the sooner you act, the sooner you could see results. 
So call right now. This is the city. This is the car. This is the man. My name's Friday. The show, Dragnet, every night on Nick at Night. When the Crypt Keeper cooks up a brand new season, you'll be seeing stars. If you've got a hankering for something tasty, we've got a treat that'll keep you on pins and needles. Bon Appetit. <laughs> Not my recipe. Try a little sugar and spice and everything nice. Keep it over a smoldering flame, because that's what tales from the crypt are made of. It's a gourmet experience. So if you're not a screaming meanie, and you can take the heat, join me for a new season of fresh tales from the crypt. Premiere Saturday night at 10.30. Now you can draw the roundest circles Perfect straight lines in any direction, even complicated geometric patterns. Perfect every time with the amazing rolling ruler. The secret tool of architects and draftsmen has two tire-like gripping rollers that keep the rolling ruler level as it speeds across your work. The special meter automatically indicates the distance between your lines. Rolling ruler makes professional-looking office forms, charts, graphs, school projects come alive. Do geometry and trig faster and easier. Craftspeople find it irresistible. Dress patterns can be altered to any size. The handyman will love the built-in protractor for perfect angles or make beautiful curves and long straight lines that go on and on. Call for Rolling Ruler at this toll-free number now. Simply insert your pencil into any hole and roll straight lines, parallel lines. Insert two pencils and roll curves, arcs, and circles instantly. Redecorate like a professional. Replan your lawn and garden to perfect scale. Get results you'll be proud of. Kids love it just for doodling. Rolling Ruler is only $12.98. Call now. You'll also receive the amazing Pantograph. Copy your favorite photos, cartoons, or designs to any size in just minutes. Finish with the confidence of a real artist. You'll impress yourself. Call this number now. You get the rolling ruler and the amazing pantograph for only $12.98. Order now. We'll get whoever did this, I promise you. That's what you said the first time. Look, being hysterical will not do you any good. Well, being calm didn't do me any good either. Everything will be all right. I... <laughs> Well, we'll need a list of what's missing. Everything! <laughs> a pattern's beginning to emerge. Yes, the pattern is this guy keeps coming back and robbing me. Burglarizing. <laughs> oh, whatever you call it, when is he going to stop? I think he's about finished. <laughs> well, you still have your lamp, the sofa, and uh, that M thing. Hey, wait a minute, fellas. If, if this kid gets hit again, the Red Cross is going to have to come in with coffee and donuts. I, I saw the police car downstairs and I wondered what happened. Oh, Mary, your apartment. Oh, I know. You. <laughs> it's your job to protect innocent citizens from things like this. Look, 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 look at that poor girl. What kind of a police department do we have here anyway? We're doing our very best, Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice any strange people around here today? Just the usual. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. As I was leaving for my Esperanto class, I saw a, a big truck parked right out in front. I didn't think anything about it at the time. Can you describe this uh, big truck? Uh, yes, officer. Uh, it was a, uh, a truck. <laughs> big. Phyllis. Big. Please try, because the only hope I have of getting my things back is if you can remember. So, Phyllis, if you could. It was blue. Good. Good. Or was it green? I, I, I don't know. I didn't see it. I guess it was blue-green. Sort of an off blue-green. Not unlike the color of my new hostess gown. Why don't you give them a swatch? Was there anything else you noticed besides the blue-green? 
Uh, that, uh, and the license number. The <laughs> license number? You wrote down the license number? That's terrific! Oh, no, I didn't write it down. I remembered it. You I... remembered all those numbers, all those letters? I just have one of those minds. Oh. She does. She has one of those minds. All right, all right. What's the number? B, B, seven. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. <laughs> Good. I'll put in a light for this uh, big truck. Jackson, put in an alert for that big truck. <laughs> a major clue. That's a, you know, to have a license plate and the color. What? Oh, Grace, we're really making headway. Officer Tully, I want to apologize for acting so emotionally before, and I'm, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, when you're studying to be a detective, you kind of get a sixth sense for these things. Hey, Mary, you know what you need, kid? A good night's sleep. <laughs> Why don't you stay up at my place tonight? You're perfectly welcome to sleep at my place. Oh. Or even stay in... Don't say it. <laughs> uh, I am on duty. Uh... Why can't my partner learn to use the horn? You know what I mean? Just a little beep. That's all you need. <laughs> I can't forget the old superstition about bad things coming in threes. I walked into my apartment last night. I looked everywhere, even the refrigerator. Well, a little bit of paranoia is a character developer. <sighs> I haven't slept more than a couple of hours the last few days. I keep thinking he's going to come back and steal my sofa, too. Uh, look, Mayor, uh, I don't know if you can use any of this. We've had it around for quite a while. Oh, Mary. Well, practically antiques. Now, this is an alarm clock, and it's so old it has Roman numerals. Oh. <laughs> and here's a waffle iron, in case you have any waffles you want to iron. Oh, that's so very nice. Murray, that's so sweet. Thank yeah. you. Well, it was all Marie's idea. Oh. Morning, Murray. Morning, Lou. Morning, Mr. Grant. Mary. <laughs> I don't like the coffee it makes. <laughs> Maybe you will. Larry, will you look at this? This pot has never been used. He went out and bought it for me. Well, don't tell anyone. You'll ruin his image. <laughs> Hi-ho, everyone. I think you can quit worrying. The third bad thing just happened. <laughs> A little something to help you rebuild, Mayor. It's for your kitchen. Oh, Ted. It's an ice crusher. Oh, Ted, that's sensational. You know, I've always wanted an ice crusher, but it, it's the kind of thing you never think to go out and buy for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is it electric or manual? <laughs> All right, so it isn't one of those big electric fancy ones. What's wrong with that? Calling that an ice crusher is like giving someone a match and calling it a barbecue. <laughs> here, Mayor, I'll show you how it works. You put an ice cube in your hand here, see, and then you strike it like this and... Voila! <laughs> I've always wanted to know what voila meant, and now I know. It means I've got a handful of crushed ice. <laughs> You're some joker. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. The last of the big spenders. Oh, come on. It's the thought that counts. I know, and he has cheap thoughts. <laughs> Newsroom, Mary Richards. Uh, Larry? Larry, Larry. Larry Tully, Officer Larry Tully. Well, I'm fine, thanks. You did? Oh, that's great. Yes, thank you, yes, I, I'll, I'll be right there. Goodbye. That was my policeman. Well, Officer Larry Tully, they think they got the guy who did the robbery. I have to go down to the police station. Hey, that's great. Oh. Well, now that you know the guy's been caught, maybe you won't be so nervous. Oh, come on, Murray, I was never really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here, uh, Richards, 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 uh, Mary, Richards, breaking and entering. Yes, that's me. Tully said if you got here before, I'm to wait. Uh, would you like a magazine? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, don't you look like a nice fella? Wanted for murder, assault, an armed robbery. <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't tell anything about anybody by looking at them. Huh? True. You know what I do every morning? Get up and go over to the park and sit on a bench. Ever since I was a little kid, I've seen old men sitting on park benches. 
It's kind of boring, but I figure it's my obligation. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, what are you here for? Robbery. Really? <laughs> no. No, I was robbed. Uh, burglarized. Uh, that's bad. A lot of that going around. Especially in my apartment. <laughs> Happened to me twice. <laughs> I've been mugged 13 times. <laughs> well, you, you certainly don't look it. Oh, I guess I'm just mug prone. <laughs> of course, hanging around the park doesn't help. <laughs> You'd think those muggers would go to a nicer neighborhood so they could make a better living. <laughs> yes. Tell me, have you ever been to one of these uh, identifications before? Thirteen times. You just go in that room over there and they line the guys up. It's better than sitting on a park bench. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have a pretty difficult time identifying this man. How come? I've never seen him before. That'll make it tough, all right. <laughs> hi. Hi. Oh, hi, Gary. Hi. Well, what do you think? How do you like it? What? Oh, congratulations, you made detective. No, it's just a new suit. Oh, well, you, you certainly should be a detective. Thank you. Uh, do I have to see the burglar? No. Oh, good. One, uh, one thing, uh, did he have hairy arms? Yes. I knew it. No, we, we just want you to identify some of your things. You got my things back? Well, we think so. How did, how did you do it? That's terrific. Well, I... Uh, Jackson and I had just come on duty, and we were cruising when we spotted the truck. And you recognized it from Phyllis's description? No, they had changed the license plate, but there was still something suspicious about it. They, they were trying to make people think they were one of those charity groups. Well, that certainly was pretty tricky of them, wasn't well, it? Well, it, it would have been, except for the name they had printed on the truck. The Salvation Navy. <laughs> stupid, stupid people. Well, I think you did a wonderful job. Thank you. You know, this man is a wonderful policeman. He really should be made detective. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> He's the same rank as I am. We can get the receipts for everything she takes. Right. My TV set! Your alleged TV set. And my alleged clothes! <laughs> oh, great! The rest of the stuff is down at the warehouse. Oh. Hello, Miss Richards. Oh, hello, Officer Jackson. Did Officer Tully tell you you'll have to leave one of your dresses for evidence? No. Oh, yes. Oh. Well... Here. Uh, no, no, that's my favorite. I want to wear that tomorrow. Uh, all right, take this one. You know, I like that one. Do you like that's that? Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab. <laughs> Makes lots of gross things that taste great. Magic liquid and care for a putrid potion. No. Mm, tasty. Here, have a squirmy worm. <laughs> mm. Now Dr. Dreadful's grossest goodies. Monster wart. Excellent. The Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab makes carbs of gross things again and again. Batteries not included. It's totally <laughs> Saturday on Maximum Smart. It's Maximum Parody as Max is Bond in Bronzefinger. Max is Bogart in The Treasure of Sea, Errol Madre. A partner is a partner, and there's only one way to break up a partnership. That's the way. Max is Eastwood in Tequila Mockingbird. Anytime you're ready. Maximum Parody on Maximum Smart. The complete Get Smart. Oh, Max. This Saturday on Nick at Night. I can't get on the airplane. What's wrong? As head called, my nose is too stuffed up and congested. I'm going to... Here, take Actifed. When you need strong medicine, you need full prescription strength Actifed. Of the three leading cold medicines once sold by prescription, only one still comes in its original maximum full prescription strength formula. Only Actifed. You okay? Yeah, this stuff really works. For strong medicine, take full prescription strength Actifed. Elvis. No one had more raw talent and sex appeal. But for seven years, he stopped performing live. Then he came back, better than ever. Now you can share this personal triumph with Elvis in the 68 Comeback Special. A fine china collector's plate recommended by the Bradford Exchange. Approved by the Elvis Presley Estate, artist Bruce Emmett's portrait captures the king at his best. 
So to enjoy this collector's plate, call toll-free now, but act quickly before this limited edition closes. An earlier Elvis plate recommended by the Bradford Exchange, Elvis at the Gates of Graceland, is already trading at over two and a half times the issue price. Today, the Bradford Exchange recommends the 68 Comeback Special. It's backed by Bradford's unconditional 365-day guarantee, so you risk nothing. To order your plate at the issue price of $24.75, call toll-free now. Have your Visa or MasterCard ready to save COD charges. Nick at Night's regular programming will not be seen tonight. No way. Uh-uh. N-O spells no. Now, stay tuned as Maximum Smart, the complete Get Smart, continues on Nick at Night. Sorry to startle you. I just came up to get my dress. I need it for tonight. How did you get in? Oh, well, I, I used my nail file. Uh, Mary, your lock is really easy to pick. No wonder you get knocked over so often. <laughs> Bill, uh, couldn't you have waited until I got home? Well, I didn't know how late you'd be. Lars and I are going to the SCARD convention. Bill, uh, <laughs> what, what is uh, SCARD? SCARD. S-C-A-R-D. Uh-huh. SCARD. The Society of Concerned and Responsible Dermatologists. <laughs> Lars is speaking on the social implications of dandruff. Oh, that certainly sounds exciting. <laughs> Would you like to come, Mary? I've got an extra ticket. Uh, no, 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 I, I've got a date. Well, I'll get you two tickets. It's a double date. Well, I'll get you four tickets. <laughs> Actually, Phil, uh, the four of us are, uh, uh, are going to a large dinner party. So. Mary, if you really want them, I can scrape up 50 tickets. <laughs> Phil, there are 52 of us. So have a good time. Tell a lot of <laughs> not Perry. Certainly not. And that's final. It's a bewitched Halloween. Monday starting at 8, 7 central on Nick at Night. Meet the people at Nick at Night who bring you good TV. Hi, I'm Steve Bolton, director of reruns. Hello, director, guy in charge. You might think it's easy to find stuff to put on Nick at Night. Just slap on an old rerun. I don't think so. It's my job to make sure it's good TV. To find Mr. Ed, I gotta watch Mr. Arsenic, Mr. Citizen, Mr. Lucky. Mr. Lucky loses his wallet. Uh-oh, it's recovered, and all the money's inside. This stuff doesn't make it past me. If Nick at Night's gonna show a rerun, it's gonna be good TV. Recently, when I became deathly ill, I was able to summon an ambulance, my next-door neighbor, my family, and my doctor without picking up a telephone. I used this remote control to contact Life Call, my 24-hour emergency medical response service. Watch. You just press this button and speak into the air and... I'm having chest pain! I'm calling paramedics and your family, Mr. Miller. I've fallen! And I can't get up! We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. See? Protect yourself with Life Call, and you're never alone. To get complete free information by mail about this affordable medical emergency response system, call toll-free now. Life Call can save your life, so call to get free details by mail right away. For free information about Life Call, call 1-800-638-3500. That's 1-800-638-3500. Sends forth on a quest from TV land. Bringing truth and justice in his hand. I like to drink it cold. It's Milkman. Brought to you by Nick at Night. Tonight's episode, The Intruder. Who are you? I'm Milkman. We don't have no Milkman. Mary, call the police. Isn't it a shame we don't feel safe in our own backyards? Who is this guy? They call me Milkman, ma'am. And like you, I care about the sanctity of our communities. You think he is a milkman? That's milk in his truck. I think you goofed. Maybe we ought to let him go. Where is he? Right here. Can't get milk from the fridge too soon. Hey, 
pay. We're not paying for that. Be good to your fellow man. That's all the payment I have. What a loon. Maybe. Maybe not. Brought to you by Nick at Night, dedicated to better living through television. Where will you find the loonies of late night TV? Maybe on a show about new age real estate. Maybe on Psychic Love Chat. But if you're looking for the loonies you love, look no further than Nick at Night. Oh, Nick! That's right. Nick at Night Overnight now begins with Looney Tunes, providing your late night with a dose of the gleeful, mindless violence you need when you need it most. So take a TV land detour into cartoon country. What more could a rabbit want? And watch Looney Tunes on Nick at Night, most nights at midnight, 11 Central. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? I'm ready. Now, on this first time ever Wheaties Game Box, you can shoot hoops with Michael Jordan. Nice shot. But you better get into the action before the Game Box is over. Yeah! Okay, two out of three. with a killer assignment for his class. Plan a perfect murder. A USA world premiere, Murder 101. And Sunday, the heavenly story of Charlie, the immortal mongrel. Dr. Mitchell is good. All dogs go to heaven on the Disney Channel. The street port. Look at all the things we are. Keep the vision of street port. Today's fashion needs are as diverse as today's woman. From essential fashion-forward career wear that projects what you are to comfortable casuals that say who you really are. And fabulous evening wear that says just about anything you want to say. Value and style for every occasion and every woman. You're today's woman and you shop the JCPenney Shopping Network for fashion that fits your lifestyle. Tune in to the JCPenney Shopping Network Channel 3. up, Crypt fans. In honor of Tales from the Crypt special season finale, HBO is taking you behind the screams one more time. <laughs> we'll resurrect devilish ditties from Tales past. I love this part. And take you on the set of what may be the most outrageous episode of them all, with director Robert Forrest Gump Zemeckis. And stars John Lithgow, Isabella Rossellini, Sherilyn Fenn. Hubba hubba. And a most unusual ghost star. Better fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy fright. A special HBO first look at Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> Premieres Wednesday night at 11. Oh, what? 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 Huh? Huh? You're having a nightmare. But this is no dream. More relentless terror comes your way on Halloween Madness. A night of fright on Naked Night. 
If you added up all the potato chips you've eaten during poker nights and playoff games, you'd end up with some serious fuds. But you still wouldn't have a taste as big as these little Gino's pizza rolls. Ooh, a tremendous taste of zesty pizza and a hot little bite-sized snack. A taste so big, it makes ordinary chips seem like small potatoes. Gino's pizza rolls, the pizza way to snack. Mm. Will today be a beautiful day for your hair? Sports style formula. Going for the big prize. Let the game begin. The one who stays the coolest. The one who's gonna win. So if you wanna be cool, soft and dry. Soft and dry sports style formula. Helps an active woman stay cool. Soft and dry. Wait outside, Callahan. Welcome home. You set a new record. Out for exactly 48 hours. I know, sir. This is Dr. Cullen, prison psychiatrist. Hello. Glad to meet you, doctor. What's the matter with you, anyhow? How old are you, Fred? Fifty-five, Doctor. I wish the parole commission would let me spend some time with these men before they're released. It might help us to discover their problems. This one's given other people a few problems, too. Of the past 25 years, he spent a total of almost 15 in one pen or another. Why? Well, perhaps on the outside, he's a frightened man. What frightened you, Fred? The traffic? Buildings, the people. We have movies every Wednesday night. He's seen traffic and people before. That's not the same as seeing them in real life, is it, Fred? No, sir. Then you were frightened. I guess so, Doctor. He wasn't frightened when he left here 48 hours ago. Were you, Fred? I guess not, sir. <laughs> It's a better outfit than the one you've been wearing, isn't it? Yes, sir. Make sure that's all you wear. From now on. Don't worry, sir. This time, I've had it. Here's pay envelope. Time for it. Eighty-six dollars. How much for a man to earn with four years of his life, is it? No, sir. Don't forget the instructions about reporting your parole officer. Say, that suit fits like it's been tailored for you. It was, sir. One of the advantages of being the warden's clerk. And the best one I ever had. Fred, you can make more outside in a week than you've gotten here for four years. You know that. 
Yeah, but who wants an ex-con with my background? Uh, leave that to your parole officer. There's no reason why you can't straighten up. After all, you and I were raised in the same neighborhood. Now I'm running for governor. <laughs> You'd get my vote, Warden Bregan. I had a vote. Goodbye, Fred. Now, if we ever meet again, let's hope it's on the street. It will be, sir. The bus is waiting. You'll be in the city in an hour. Hello, Kowalski. Fred! Fred Reardon! Long time no see, fella. Yeah, long time. That was a jump trick sticking up that gas station. Thanks for telling me. Uh, I've been waiting four years to get your opinion. I didn't mean that like it sounded. Was it rough? Nothing's ever as bad as you expect it to be. Look, how about coming inside for a few brews? I'm out. I want to roll. I even go through that door and get caught. It'll cost me two years. The back room, who's gonna know? I will. Suit yourself. But if you change your mind, guy's got to cut loose a little after four years. I'll let people know you're around again. If you run into anybody, who cares? Found a place to stay at? I thought maybe the old place, if May's still there. You mean you don't know? Something happened to her? No, she's still there. You haven't kept in touch with anybody, have you? She wrote a few times on... Just not much for answering. Yeah, I'm like that myself. Good luck, Fred. Man. Drop in any time. <laughs> Thanks for watching a lot. Come on. And he was the first one you spoke to? A saloon keeper? He was the first one I knew. You refused his invitation then. Tell me, why did you go back the next night and break up the place? I don't know, sir. Something happened in between. What made you go back to your old rooming house? A habit pattern? Like going home? I guess so, doctor. Like coming back here again? place I knew. That's all. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was... Hello, May. What do you want? Well, uh, I just got out. I, I got no place to stay. You still haven't. May, please. I, I need a... The things you left are in a suitcase in the cellar. If the rats haven't gotten to them. Get it. Get out. You know where to look. And don't slam the door when you leave. Oh, please, May. You got an empty room. The sign's in the window. For rent to someone who pays. No more freeloaders around here. A month in advance. I've changed, May. My parole officer's lining me up a job. I won't make no trouble for you. I've got no place else to go. Let me think about it. One cup of coffee? Thank you. Some. You don't look too bad. A little older. Well fed. And rested. They say people live longer in prison. Regular hours. What have you been doing, May? Not waiting for you. Some cream and sugar? I guess I got used to black. Is Mike still here or Harry? Nobody left, you know. Yeah, the only one I saw today was...
Kowalski down at the tavern. You never were loaded with friends, Freddy boy. I wrote you a couple of letters, May. I used them to light the fire. All I'm asking for is a room. To be near somebody I know. Forty dollars. In advance. <laughs> First time you ever gave me any money, there wasn't a cop behind you to take it back. Fred, that's all. Someone else, isn't there? I wasn't in prison, Fred. You were. I'll go downstairs and get my things. What did you do that night, Fred? Just uh, stayed in. I see. What time did you go to bed? Nine o'clock. Just when the lights go out here. Did you sleep well? No, sir. I, I kept waking up. About, about every half hour? That's how often the cell guards make their rounds. A sound he's been used to hearing every night for the last four years. Subconsciously, you missed hearing that sound, didn't you? I guess you're right, Doctor. What did you do when you woke up? Did you go to the door and check the key? Not to open it, but to be sure that it was locked? You wanted to experience that same sense of security you felt in the cell, didn't you, Fred? Well, he's going to experience that security again for the next two years. People get into habits of living, Warden. When the familiar routine is disturbed, they become confused and panic. You said he was a good clerk. The best. And you'd be prepared to use him again, wouldn't you? I suppose so. A good clerk has a certain amount of organizational ability, Fred. An intellect, an intelligence. Thank you, Doctor. Yet even a stupid person occasionally gets away with a crime for a long time. But everything you've done, every conviction in that folder... You've been arrested and booked in a matter of hours. Yes, sir. Can't you account for that? Why, Fred? I don't know, sir. There you are. Always the same answer. That's why Fred is back again. It's the only safe place he knows. What was it, Fred? What frightened you out there? I don't know, Doctor. I just felt like having a drink. Well, if something made you want that drink. Something that happened earlier, perhaps. What did you do? Well, I just took a walk. That's all? Yes, sir. Where did you walk? No place in, in particular. Just a walk. Nothing happened. You didn't see or speak to anyone? No, sir. I was alone all day. Yeah. I'll see if he's here. Fred? Fred? Dying. You're wanted on the phone. Well, who knows I'm here? Kowalski? Maybe your parole officer has a job for you. Sounded like a Chinese laundry. Hello? Yeah, this is Fred Reardon.
Hello, Fred. Welcome home. Who is this? Never mind names. You'll recognize the voice in a minute. Tony, what? I said, never mind names. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It's Wednesday, Fred. The day I go to visit my mother's grave. Every Wednesday. Yeah, I know. Song? I go at two o'clock. But there's a grave next to hers that nobody ever seems to visit. Cigarette. Somebody named James Fallon. Maybe an old friend of yours. Who? It'd be kind of nice if somebody showed up. Like and bring a few flowers. Yeah. I was figured on taking the bus out that way today. Be kind of nice. Kind of thoughtful. So long, Fred. tend to see red when you serve up anything but what is tomato sauce because what is never skimp on their special ingredients and top quality tomatoes twice the taste and twice as good because what is means good food mm. I'm looking for two fuzz named Friday again you found him on Dragnet every night at 9 30 8 30 central on Nick at night you can save makes a difference or the amount your whole neighborhood can save or even your whole town but when you see how much gas america can save every day when we all drive just five miles per hour slower it's easy to see how the little bit you can do makes a lot of difference president bush hopes you'll do your part drive smart hello I'm Eileen Oldag, Executive Director of the YWCA of Northwest Louisiana. To find out about issues affecting women, turn to Heart of Shreveport on the Shreveport Channel. This half-hour show focuses on sociological, economical, and political issues affecting women. It's a great way to stay up to date. That's Heart of Shreveport, Thursdays at 7 p.m., Fridays at 5 p.m. on the Shreveport Channel, Cablevision's Channel 6. stories in the fun fruits jungle. The coffin opens and the skeletons scare the aliens. Skeleton! Ah! And that's how we discovered new fun fruit spooky fruit with skulls, ghosts, and monsters. And fun fruit space shapes with aliens, astronauts, and spaceships. New fruit snacks from sun kissed fun fruits. Give me five. New fun fruit space shapes and spooky fruit. It's the greatest sports entertainment spectacular of all time! WrestleMania! Friday, Sunday, March 24th, exclusively on pay-per-view! It's superstars and strikes forever! As the immortal Hulk Hogan, gallantly streaming, tries to liberate the WWF title from American turncoat Sergeant Slaughter! Be a part of the broad strike and the brightest stars are the most star-spangled celebration ever! Nick at Night's regular programming will not be seen tonight. Now, stay tuned as Maximum Smart, the complete Get Smart, continues on Nick at Night.
you bring me out here for, Tony? Don't look at me. You like it inside? I'd rather be on the outside. You'll go up again with some stupid small time grift, and you know it. You never did give me a chance at anything big. You're getting it now. A thousand bucks a month for two years. We'll make it a flat 25 grand. How much did you say? Keep your eyes off me. Kneel down. You go on salary tonight. For what? You're gonna get drunk tonight, Fred. You're gonna break parole. You mean you're gonna pay me just to go back in jail? You notice how many empty plots there are here? I wanna fill one of them. Kelly? You think I'm crazy? You're good with a knife. You used one once before, Fred. The only job you ever pulled that you got away with. How do you know about that? I got where I am by knowing. Put the flowers down and act as if you're fixing up the grave. What did you get for that job? Killing a delicatessen owner. There couldn't have been a hundred bucks in a till. Was there? No. This time there's 25,000. Why do I have to break parole? Because the man I want is behind the walls. And if he ever comes out, I'm finished. One of your own boys? He was. I put him in there to take care of any of the other boys who had to take a fall. Make it easy for them. But he stopped playing ball. Why can't it be handled when he gets out? It'll be too late then. You could make it look good. You could make it look like any one of a thousand guys could have done it. Suppose I'm in a different cell block. Suppose I can't get near him. Don't worry. You'll be near him. Who is he? When does he get out? I'd say about the beginning of November. Around election day. You out of your mind? Not him. Don't look at me. I made him what he is. Now he's biting the hand that fed him. Building himself up to put the squeeze on me. Twenty-five grand, Fred. Not even for 50. I could send you to the death house with a 10 cent phone call. A guy saw you throw a paper bag down a sewer the night that delicatessen owner was murdered. A guy who works for me. There was a knife in the bag, Fred. I still got it. I'll bet your fingerprints are still on it. Tony, you wouldn't. Wouldn't I? I'm not going to let him become governor. Whose grave do I put flowers on the next time, Fred? Yours or Warden Bragan's? feeling you're holding back on something, Fred. So do I. Something did happen that frightened you. No, sir. Like I said, I just took a walk. I didn't see or, or speak to anyone. Send Callahan in. Put him to work in the laundry. Then I'll reassign him to my office. Thank you, Warden.
This is all that is left of the dance school orchestra. They were playing the twist when it happened. When they began, this was a saxophone. I would say dancing the twist is like scratching your back on a post without the post. Now, for those of you who wish to practice the twist, this would be an excellent time. In fact, if you twist around far enough, you might miss the next commercial, after which I shall waltz back. This morning, Billy looked like any other boy, but as the moon rose, he turned into a werewolf. He used new Pa's Halloween makeup kits. His friends did, too. Look, Mike's a vampire. Amy's a ghost. Pa's makeup is safer than masks. It never blocks vision, and it's hypoallergenic, too. So watch your kids turn into the creatures they really are with new Pa's Halloween makeup kits. In the tradition of history's classic love stories, Romeo and Juliet, John Smith and Pocahontas, Nick at Night presents Mark and Mindy. Fate brought them face to face. Here's to the nicest alien I've ever met. Mark and Mindy, their feelings threaten to tear them apart. Heavy sigh, anxiety, anger mixed with inner turmoil. Mark and Mindy, on this crazy planet called Earth, can love keep them together? Mark and Mindy, TV Land Starcross Pair, weeknights on... No, 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 no. Wide oval style. Stay cool. Soft and dry. Floor is all shiny clean, Billy. He should know. It's called bright. Let's play. Time to entertain Daddy. Wow, never seen such clean shininess. Billy, look. How did Bright do this so glossy clean? Unlike Mop and Glow, Bright is self-cleaning, so it gives your no-wax floor a cleaner shine every time. Up goes the ladder. Hey, I have hair. Bright for a cleaner shine every time. Whoa, nice reflection. He noticed. Great Halloween parties begin at Walgreens. Candy. Party decorations, masks, costumes, makeup. Everything you need for Halloween fun, now at Walgreens. Hitchcock's not done with you yet. Honest. So stay with Nick at Night. Once upon a time, there was an incredible vegetable. A green giant mushroom. It did amazing things for food. The giant picked only the mushrooms plump enough to make pasta perfect, juicy enough to make spaghetti sumptuous, and salads scrumptious. Soon people added the giant's mushrooms to chicken, burgers, stew, gravy, and people ate happily ever after. Because green giant mushrooms give everything a lift. Green giant. We don't intend to turn our convict in. We just want him to show us how he did it. We shall probably still be waiting here next week when we return with another story. Until then, good night. When life seems dull, here's how to make things bright. Get classic TV pleasure from Nick at night. Nick at night. Hello? Hello? Oh, please, someone answer. Oh, no.
Massa? Uh, this is Jeannie Nelson. May I speak to Major Anthony? What? Oh, well, I do not know. This phone seems to be working. Oh, yes, please. May I speak to Major Anthony Nelson? He what? He left already? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, oh dear, it is not safe to be out in a storm like this. I am sorry, Master, but you belong at home. Uh, something wet, darling. Hey, that's some blow out there. My car broke down three blocks away. Well, the first thing we must do is get you out of those wet clothes and into a hot tub. Yeah. Well, I called Nathan when they said you were not there. I got so worried. Yeah, well, I'm going to be there in ten minutes. That's oh, what I was looking for. You are not going out again. Oh, sweetheart, this hurricane is right over the primary recovery area. I've got to talk down Mattingly and Ford. Uh, look, uh, my car's broken down three. Uh, Dr. Bellis is waiting for me. If the storm gets any worse, I'm going to be staying at NASA, okay? But, darling, you're closed. I don't have time to change, sweetheart. I just don't have time. <laughs> There's a pumpkin pail, a witch, ah! and a ghost ah! that glows in the dark. You can get a different one each week until Halloween! Halloween. Ah!
will you find the loonies of late night TV? Maybe on a show about new age real estate. Maybe on Psychic Love Chat. But if you're looking for the loonies you love, look no further than Nick at Night. Oh, Nelly! That's right. Nick at Night Overnight now begins with Looney Tunes, providing your late night with a dose of the gleeful, mindless violence you need when you need it most. So take a TV land detour into cartoon country. What more could a rabbit want? And watch Looney Tunes on Nick at Night, most nights at midnight, 11 Central. Watch me turn plain tuna into a real creamy meal. Creamy Noodle Tuna Helper. With oodles of creamy noodles, your family will love. Creamy Noodle Tuna Helper makes a great meal. You'll love the way it disappears. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Double ouch. There must be a better way to get rid of unwanted hair. Now there is. Introducing Azara, a new method that removes hair quickly, easily, painlessly, and keeps it off up to 10 full weeks. Azara is more effective than any other method. It's a lot quicker than tweezers and epilators. Lasts much longer than shaving. Contains no harsh chemicals like creams. Is much cleaner than waxes. And costs only pennies to use. Use it wherever you have unsightly or unwanted hair. You'll feel comfortable and attractive all over. Azara is only $19.95, but order now and get a second tube free. If you're not delighted, return it for a complete refund. Have your credit card ready and call now. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-776-6400 or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Azara, 8000 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Nick at Night's regular programming will not be seen tonight. Now, stay tuned as Maximum Smart, the complete Get Smart, continues on Nick at Night. <laughs> when TV Guide chose the all-time best TV, we weren't surprised. Entertainment Weekly chose the best TV. We weren't surprised. When you're looking for the all-time best TV, it's no surprise you choose Nick at Night, the home of classic TV. Bellas, I should make some hot soup. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Well, this looks like the one you were wearing, Major. What is that, sir? <laughs> when I came in, you were standing That's there. Amazing with... what an electrical storm can do to your perception. I think you better come in here. Use my bathroom before you get a chill. Go right in here, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Jeannie, it looks like Dr. Bellas is going to be marooned here until after the hurricane. Oh, well, that is fine. He, he can sleep up in the study. Ah, good, good. Now, I, I know I don't have to say this, but no tricks, huh? Oh, no, darling. Of course not. <laughs> good. <laughs> See, now, look. This is exactly what I mean. There's what? a power failure. Would you turn the lights off? Oh, the lights? Oh, but darling. Turn them off, know. really. Uh, you know, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Turn them off, please. Oh, darling. Oh, darling. Just turn them off. But, darling, you... Go ahead, turn them off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> break with the storm? Yeah. No lights? Can you imagine this? You won't be able to send me home? <laughs> all Jeannie has to do is get me to Miami. That's all. And uh, how do you propose that Jeannie do that? Oh, uh, how, do I, how do I propose that, sir? <laughs> oh, uh, well, Jeannie has a connection with the uh, with the travel bureau. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> For all practical purposes, we're marooned right here. But come to think of it, Major, hear me, how did you get here? Well, it was fine when I left uh, home, sir, but all of a sudden I'm driving down the street and you got these big trees in there and everything's flooded. It's really awful. <laughs> how are we going to get to NASA, sir? Well, we'll call. 
Well, sooner or later, they may send out some sort of uh, amphibious vehicle. Yeah, I heard on my car radio that all the telephones are definitely out of order. Oh. Uh, Jean, darling, the phones aren't working. Hello, Mrs. Bellows. This is Jean. <laughs> yes, I just thought you might be worried, and I wanted to let you know that Dr. Bellows is here and say, would you like to talk to him? Here. <laughs> But how? I don't know, sir. A phone company's always been a mystery to me. <laughs> Amanda? Yeah, but the main thing, Steve, is to keep them absolutely current on what's happening down here. Well, oh, don't try to keep anything from them. Right? Mm. Please, don't sound like you're trying to keep anything Delicious from them. Delicious soup, Jenny. Hey, don't make things sound any better than they already oh, are. Thank you, I mean, Dr. Bellows. Uh, yeah, Steve, but I, got I right do here. not yeah. understand what Anthony is doing. Well, Tony's supposed to talk mattingly and Forbes down. Uh, well, I know I shouldn't question good luck, but... I still don't understand why your phone is the only phone in the area that's working. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, here it is. I, I shall clear the dishes and bring yeah, the next door. Yeah, Steve, I'll give you a hand. Thank you, sir. I said if you've got the oxygen remaining time relative to the recovery contingency three and four. I hope you like lamb, Dr. Bellows. Oh, anything's fine, Jeannie. I love lamb. Uh, Jeannie, your stove. Yes, yes. Is something the matter? It's electric. <laughs> oh, yes. Is that bad? It's not bad. It's impossible. There's no electricity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Major Nelson, your stove. Uh, generator, sir. The emergency generator. Oh, hold on, Steve. How did you know what I was going to say? What, what were you going to say? <laughs> Why is your electric stove working? Uh, it's an emergency generator, just like we have in NASA. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll Major, find Carl. Why aren't the lights working? Well, don't ask me, sir. Not my house. <laughs> Different circuits, sir. Oh, yeah, well, you see, yeah. the generator is for the stove. It's better to eat what you're seeing and see what you're eating. <laughs> Dr. Bellows, you, Dr. Bellows, you said that Anthony was very important to those two brave men up in the capsule. Jeez, and do you not think it is more important to worry about okay. them than about a silly little old electric yeah, right. stove and whether it works or doesn't work? Uh, uh, but that's not the point. It's simply impossible to... Well, of course, Jeannie, you're right. Oh, forgive me, Major. Uh, I guess this business has us all on edge. That's perfectly understandable, sir. But this is the most puzzling house. Here, yeah. First the light, then the phone, then the stove. Would you like some coffee, sir? Ooh. An electric coffee pot. <laughs> Do you like a hard bed? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I do, Major. Uh, good. Why don't you take the couch? The bed's a little mushy. <laughs> Master, shall I stay up with you? No, darling. You better get some sleep. Somebody's got to have some energy in the morning and take care of Dr. Bellows and Roger. All right. I love you. Mm. I love you, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, they know they have to conserve their oxygen. Yeah, just uh, t tell him to uh, to think of that that conscious relaxation exercise we used to try. Yeah, you know the one. You know the one where you relax your toes ah, and the feet relax, the legs relax. <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah. Yeah, I know. I always don't sleep myself. Yeah, well, tell him to try that one. Okay. <laughs> Steve, now look, this is the last contact we're gonna have, see? And when they burn through, we're gonna lose all radio contact. And, uh... My poor master. He must get some sleep. Oh, oh I can't, Jenny. I can't right now. Oh, but you must. You've been awake so many hours, you're going to make yourself sick. Sweetheart, I can't get any sleep until I talk Mattingly and Forbes down. Well, I cannot stand by and watch you make yourself sick. I, I, I just simply cannot stand it. What are you going to do? There you are, Master. Now you can see. They are sick. <laughs> Your movie. 
No, I'm not. You're moving it. It's spelling something. This is too weird. Go ahead. Ask another. Ask another. Nugget Knight presents... Dragnet, just the facts. Sergeants Friday and Gannon, LAPD, four years on the beat. 111 felony arrests, 876 cups of coffee. Double sugar, double cream. Left their desks 4,200 times, fired 38 bullets, exchanged meaningful glances 37,000 times, and 91 times have tried to be hit. You're pretty high and far out, aren't you? Broke the speed limit twice. Sorry, Bill. And once, just once, have cracked a smile. Dear God in heaven. Dragnet, the facts speak for themselves. Every night on Naked Night. We have been fascinated from the beginning. As a machine, the human body remains a supreme invention. To unlock its potential, we offer Soloflex. Simple and efficient, like the body itself. Which may explain why Soloflex looks less like a machine and more like a work of art. an easy way to collect the world's most beautiful music. Announcing great composers from Time Life Music. Start with the greatest music of Mozart. More than two full hours of his very best works at the remarkable low price of only $9.99 for two compact discs or two double-length cassettes. Great Composers brings you the most memorable music of Bach, Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, Chopin, all the great masters in crisp, clear sound. Every volume features one great composer, yours to preview at no risk. Keep only the albums you want. There's no minimum to buy, and you may cancel any time. So call now to enjoy Mozart for a 10-day free audition and discover music you'll enjoy for a lifetime. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-477-9100. That's 1-800-477-9100. Or send $9.99 for two cassettes or two compact discs. Plus $3.50 shipping and handling to Mozart, P.O. Box 1880, Department 8, Alexandria, Virginia. so that you could see that they are safe and now you can get some sleep. Well, now you get them right back up in that capsule. But, Master, I brought them down. Well, you get, they're going to make a re-entry in about 30 seconds. Now get them back up there right now. Come yes. on. Yeah, yes, Master. We'll do it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Thanks. Now you get back in your, in your bed, will you? Yes, Master. Oh. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Go on, go on. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Hello, Steve, are you there? Major Nelson. Hi, Bella. Did you see the... All of them. All of them. She folded her arms and then... And then she... She blinked her eyes and... And suddenly they, they were here. They were sitting, right here. And then she, she blinked them again, and they were gone. And then she blinked her eyes a third time, and then she was gone. <laughs> Major Nelson, what in the name of heaven's going on here? You're asleep, that's what's going on. You're asleep, sir, you're dreaming. When you wake up in the morning, you're not going to remember anything. No, 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 nonsense. I've been, no, no. I, uh, I've been up all night. I've been worrying about Mattie Lee and Forbes. I haven't, I haven't slept a wink. Yeah. Not a wink. Major, why did you wink? Uh, wink? <laughs> no, a blink. I mean, uh, you use hypnosis. Uh, you hypnotize yourself. No, 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 that's ridiculous. I'm as old weak as you are. Yeah, yeah, well, it was an experiment I was conducting here. Why, you've been on the phone all this time? No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's all nonsense. Uh, nonsense. A mirage? The truth! <laughs> I saw it and I want the truth. And while you're at it, you can tell me all that's going on in this house. The truth about that phone, the lights, the stove, everything! Uh, you better brace yourself, sir, because the truth is rather startling. Try me. <laughs> no. Try me! I married a genie. <laughs> <laughs> you never quit, do you, Major? You know, Major? going on uh, anyway. Uh, Major, Major Healy, I think you better sit down. Yeah, just I'm afraid you're in for quite a shock. 
shock, a very big shock. Major Nelson just told me that he was married to a genie. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, well, you uh, you must be dreaming, sir. I tried to. Yeah, you tried to. Oh, well, it's probably probably some kind of self-hypnosis, sir. I tried that. Uh, well, it's an experiment. That's it. It's an experiment. <laughs> That's okay. Have you tried Mirage? Yeah, Roger, he caught me red-handed. I had to tell him the truth. Did he believe it? The question is not whether I believe it, but does Major Nelson believe it? Well, I, I believe anything you two believe. Right. <laughs> you don't leave me here. I just want you to relax. Now, you try to remember that I'm your friend, and I'm trying to help you, Major. <laughs> your help is far more important than any explanation, Major. You see, we have, uh, we have ways of dealing with psychoses such as yours. In a few years of rest and quiet, <laughs> depth analysis... Janie! Janie! Oh, yes, Anthony. Did you call? Smoke into your bottle. What? Smoke into your bottle. What? Oh, wait, wait. He, he is asleep. He's so sleepy. He does not know what he is saying. Uh, Jeannie, it, it's all right. I, I'm your master. Smoke into your bottle. Uh, darling, Dr. Bellows. Just do as I say. I am asleep. Well, that is what it is. I. I am asleep. I'm asleep. <laughs> Jeannie? <laughs> yes, Anthony. You called? Yeah, I, I was trying to show Dr. Bellows that you're really a genie. You can come up. Yes, Anthony. That, that is my name. Genie. <laughs> it's all right, Major. You've made your point. I'll, uh... I'll resign my commission immediately, of course. I'll <laughs> commit myself for treatment. While I still have a few lucid moments left, I... shame, really. I... I like the Air Force. I like being a psychiatrist. Oh, the poor man. Uh, sir, all you have to do is realize that there is such a thing as a genie in the world. Of course, it'd be difficult to tell Amanda, but she'll understand. She'll uh, wait for me. <laughs> Uh, Jeannie, you remember that stereopticon we used to use? You mean the past and future machine? Yes. Yeah, would you blink it in, please? Uh. <laughs> uh, there, sir. Uh, this will probably clear things up. Just take, take a look in here. Oh, yes. Uh. come from? Uh, this bed, those pillows, the, these curtains. Oh, Dr. Bellows. <laughs> Please, look at me, look at my uniform. What's the matter with you? What in heaven's name is that? Oh, uh, 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 mosquito netting, sir, malaria prevention. Mosquito netting? Yeah. Malaria prevention? Absolutely. Oh, I wish you'll be more careful. Look at this, I'll... <laughs> uh, uh, mosquito bite, very painful, sir. The whole room is full of... Hold still, hold still, sir. One right there. Oh! The whole room is full. There must be full. I can hear you. Give me some of this. Give me, give me. Oh. Oh. You mean to tell me that was all, Jeannie? Yes, sir. All, all. And she really does live in this bottle? No! Uh, no, it's okay, darling. I'm trying to convince him. Let him look in there. It's all right. <laughs> oh, no. It's all right. Now look, darling, we're married. We don't need the bottle anymore. It's... Oh, it's okay. Oh, sir, would you like to take another look in there? And... Of course. I, I can hardly wait. Uh...
I beg your pardon. The water! Oh! <laughs> did you eat the pip chick, sir? I certainly did. Salt air gives you a marvelous appetite. Ready to come about. Come about! Look out for the bull, Major. The what, sir? The bull! Oh, oh, right, right. Uh, sir, I... I really think you ought to come with me. Come with you? What for? I'm finally doing something I've always wanted to do. Sailing a whaler to Alaska. <laughs> mm, looks like a sou'easter's blowing up out of the northwest. How are you going to watch out for them, sou'easters? Perhaps we ought to go below and put on our foul weather gear, sir. Too late for that. Lower the lifeboat. <laughs> I'll never be able to look at myself in the mirror again. <laughs> uh, there was one particular incident I remember that when your explanation sounded especially fishy. You know, the time that I, I thought I saw the two Martians. Uh, um, Jeannie, would you mind? Go ahead. I don't understand. This whole base should be on red alert. The president should have been notified. Look, look at this. Now, just calm down, Colonel. Nobody's going to hurt you. But, sir, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I saw them. Uh, green men with, uh, uh, uh... Antenna, Colonel. That's right, sir. Antenna. They must have taken over the jet plate. Well, there's the jet plate right now, Doctor. The goal of them to come right here to NASA. Oh, no. They might have vaporizers. We'll chance it, Doctor. Go on! You'll see. You'll see. Hello! Hello in... Hello in there. Uh, we are earthly. We like you. Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. We like you, too. <laughs> well, Doctor. I must admit, Major, that your explanations were extraordinarily clever. I'll resign my commission, of course, sir. And Jeannie and I will go away where we're not known, start life all over again. What a waste to the space program. Well, I'd rather be married to Jeannie than be an astronaut, sir. Oh, Anthony. Call me master. <laughs> Jeannie, I always thought that you were a charming and wonderful girl, a perfect wife for Major Nelson. Magic or no, I see no reason why I should change my opinion. Thank you, Dr. Bellows. Major Nelson, all things being considered, and I mean all things, uh, it's been a great honor and a pleasure working with you. Uh, good luck. Thanks, sir. Oh, excuse me. You better get some sleep. Good night, darling, darling Anthony. Master. Master! <laughs> Tony, Tony, are you there? Tony, wake up. Mm -hmm. What? Hello. Hello? They're down, Tony, down. Aboard the carrier, safe and sound. They're down? You're kidding, they're down. Hey, that's great, Steve. <laughs> And they're aboard the carrier. Hey, that's sensational. <laughs> we did it, huh? Okay, buddy. Yeah, you better get some sleep. I'll get some, too. <laughs> well, I'm so tired, I'll probably have a nightmare now. <laughs> okay, bye. What's the bottom? The broken. <laughs> That's what it was. It was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> a nightmare. The whole thing was a nightmare. Dr. Bell was in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> There's an odd, unexplainable phenomenon haunting Pizza Hut. Is it another worldly spirit compelling these people to eat their pizza the wrong way? 
No, it's new stuffed crust pizza with a ring of cheese baked in the edge of a totally new thinner crust. And with a large just $9.99, every living person will be eating it the wrong way, crust first. Hey, look! I'm eating like a fleshy too! <laughs> and even so, not so living. You love the stuff we're made of Pizza Hut! <laughs> Why should you watch Maximum Smart? Someday you can tell your grandchildren about it. Maximum Smart. All this week on Nick at Night. ESPN slams home a new season of Major League Baseball. Spring training begins. The A's and Giants renew the Battle of the Bay Area. The world champ Reds meet the Mets. The Royals wrestle the Dodgers. And the Rangers wrangle the Pirates. The boys of summer are up to bat and knocking them home to you exclusively on cable. Look at all the things we are. On cable vision of Shreveport. He graduated from one of the best medical schools. Walked into a built-in practice. And he doesn't pay malpractice insurance. Take a deep breath. But that's not all he's got going for him. He's an Air Force flight surgeon. And to understand the stresses of high-speed flight, he has to experience them firsthand. So if you want to practice medicine in a more stimulating atmosphere, call 1-800-423-USAF. Aim high. Air Force. Lee takes command from Time Life Book's monumental series, The Civil War, for just $4.99. I'll be back to tell you how. In The Civil War from Time Life Books, you'll read why our country went to war against itself. You'll understand the cause and see the effects on the field and on the home front. Beginning with Lee Takes Command, yours free to examine for 10 days to keep for only $4.99. And with your purchase, receive the Civil War Almanac free. Get both sides of this great and tragic story in Time Life Books Civil War. Call now for your free examination of Lee Takes Command. If you decide to keep it, pay just $4.99. That's $10 off the regular price. Other books will follow about every other month on the same free examination. Buy only the ones you want, cancel any time. So dial this toll-free number now. We're waiting for your call. There's someone in your house. Good evening. I'm Alfred Hitchcock. It's Alfred Hitchcock presents Every Night on Naked Night.
boards. They're down. They're on the carrier, what? sir. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, they're down. They're safe on the carrier. Oh, Jeannie, <laughs> Jeannie, hey, where did you come from? Oh, she's uh, she's from the bedroom, sir. Oh, I'm not possible. I'm, I'm standing right here. Hey, hey, no, 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 he's not up there. Not up there. Not up there. Where is he? Wait, there at this hour. Wait a minute. Marshmallows are haunting all the monster cereals. They're the ghostly part of this complete breakfast. From county jails to maximum security prisons, convicts everywhere are raving about Dragnet, the cop show classic on Nick at Night. It's non-stop, full-tilt, rat-a-tat cop action that put me in the slammer for 15 to 20. Jack H. Burns, Barton Correctional Facility for Men. Even though I bludgeoned a man with a hammer, they were very polite when they busted me. I gotta give them credit. Hugh Bream, Death Row, San Quentin. Dragnet, it's the cop classic to watch while you're doing time or any time, every night on Nick at Night. They were mighty hungry when they got home that night, and no ordinary meal would do them right. She needed something hearty. Beef noodle hearty. She got the hardiest hamburger helper she could. New improved beef noodle tasted real good, and it was hearty. Beef noodle hearty. Add oodles and noodles, new beefy sauce too. Her two guys loved it, and her daughter did too, because it was hearty. Beef noodle. <clears throat> beef noodle hearty. Hamburger helper. The improved beef noodle. Makes a great beef. Attention, music lovers everywhere. Now you can own 101 number one hit records in one extraordinary TV music collection. And here they are. Yes, all 101 of these original hit records can now be yours. Imagine, every song is a number one hit. Enjoy again, legendary stars and groups. I'm sorry. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. Call this toll-free number and ask for 101 number one hits. Oh, 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 yes, wait a minute, Mr. Bowman. You'll get Motown favorites. Rock and roll classic. They're all here at one of the lowest prices ever offered. Use your credit card or order COD. Call them. You get 101 number one hit records on cassettes or LPs for only $29.95. That's less than 30 cents a hit. Or hear them all on four long play CDs for only $35.95. This is a special price breakthrough offer. Operators are standing by. Call now. of the moon's surface was taken two months ago by a camera aboard an unmanned space capsule.
Today, space technicians at the Cape are hopeful that this view of the moon and even closer ones will be seen for the first time by human eyes. Sam, not now. I'm watching the moon probe. What? The moon probe. I'm watching the moon probe. But when you turn the vacuum on, the set goes fluey. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, can't you do that later? Sweetheart, I've been waiting for weeks to give the house a thorough cleaning. These rugs are filthy. How can you worry about the dirt on the rugs when we're about to see the surface of the moon? The moon could use a vacuuming, too. All that dust. We have now received yeah. word from the table that the orbit and attitude of the space capsule are perfect. In a matter of hours, astronauts aboard the spacecraft will have the closest view of the moon ever seen by the naked eye, thus bringing nearer the day when men will actually land on the moon. Honey, why don't you forget about the housework for a while? Watch this with me. Pretty interesting, even for a sophisticated witch like you. Well, I'd like to, darling, but I just, I just can't. It's like having a ringside seat for the discovery of America. Aren't you interested? Well, certainly I'm interested, but it's the same elliptical orbit, isn't it? Oh, I, I mean, except that this time the pilots will see for themselves the mild high dust drifts and the lunar craters. I am more interested in getting the refrigerator straightened out, the oven scrubbed, the attic cleaned, and the rugs vacuumed. Anyway, I've seen the moon. <laughs> She's seen the moon. You've seen the moon? No, it's impossible. With her, nothing's impossible. <laughs>
What's a window? How does a mouse move the cursor? Understanding computers begins with Time Life books. Call 1-800-548-4200 to examine computer basics free for 10 days. Keep it and pay just $14.99 plus shipping and handling. Other books will follow, one about every other month. Cancel any time. Call 1-800-548-4200. Is it more important than Jack Nicklaus getting an eagle on a 550-yard five par? What do you think about the move? I think it's very nice. Easy now. Stroke it easy. You've got a downhill lie. I mean, I'm getting there. You really want to know what I think? Okay, I'll tell you what I think. I think that the moon is very important. But I wish they'd stop spending my money to get there. Oh, come on, Mayor. Be serious. I am serious. Do you realize how big my tax bill is going to be this year? Larry, it's for the advancement of science. New frontiers is progress. Look, don't get me wrong. If they could just say Alakazam, snap their fingers and get there, I'd be all for it. Well, that's close. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. I say forget it. Larry, um... I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but, um... Just suppose someone, uh, knew of a way of getting to the moon without spending all that money, uh... What do you think he should do about it? I think he should go right down to the authorities and tell them what he knows. I think it would be his patriotic duty. That's what I was afraid you'd say. But before he does that, I'll tell you what I think he should do. I think he should go home, take a good stiff drink, a couple of aspirin, and try to get some sleep. <laughs> oh, there, it was a, just a hypothetical question. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Oh, and furthermore, I don't think this person should come to work tomorrow until he's gotten all this stupid nonsense out of his skull. <laughs> well, I really got a rise out of you, didn't I? <laughs> I was just putting you on. Really, Samantha, it's getting harder and harder to tell the difference between you and an ordinary household drudge. Well, I'm sorry, Mother, but as long as you insist upon popping in unannounced, you'll just have to take me as I am. I must say, I can't see where I went wrong. I brought you up as a proper witch, taught you the best incantations, and here you are, married to a mortal, doing the most menial tasks, a fallen woman. <laughs> All right, Mother, out with it. What's on your mind? I want you to come shopping with me. Oh, so that's what all this is about, to get me to come shopping with you. Well, if I'd simply invited you, Samantha, you'd have refused. I'm afraid I have to anyway. I can't leave Tabitha. Well, I've already installed Hagatha upstairs to babysit. Mother, I have to clean the house. Good. Now, let's compromise. I'll let you clean the house as a drudge, but only after you come shopping with me. Well, all right. But, but we mustn't be gone more than two hours, now promise. Marvelous. We'd better change, dear. Mother, wait, wait a minute. Where are we going? It's Sunday. All the stores are closed. Not where I'm taking you. Follow me. <laughs> nice of you to pop in, ladies. Oh, Mother. You didn't tell me we were going to Tokyo. I'll never trust you again. Darling, you said yourself the shops were all closed back home. Here it isn't Sunday. We've just crossed the international date line. <laughs> Ohayo gozaimasu, Watanabe-san. Oh, Endora-san. Ohayo gozaimasu. I am so happy to see you again. This is my daughter, Samantha. How do you do? Ah, dozo yoroshiku. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Samantha-san. Your mother and I have been long-time friends. I've just come for some of your marvelous tea, Watanabe-san. Of course. Just a moment, please. I keep in back for my special customers. <laughs> <laughs> He's a warlock? Tokyo chapter. And his tea is absolutely out of this world. After this, we'll go to a marvelous restaurant. <gasps> they make the most divine squid mousse. Well, 
Um, I uh, guess I should be going home. I'll, I'll, I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Darren. What? That's the closet. <laughs> a little trip to Japan to break up the morning. <laughs> now, just let us relax and have a cup of this marvelous warlock tea. Mother dear, you are incorrigible. Now, we've been gone all day. Now, you want me to sit down and have tea. I have to get the house clean. What am I going to tell Darren? Well, tell him our rickshaw got caught in a traffic jam. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to mention Japan. Then don't. Do you have to give him a schedule of where you've been every day, minute by minute? Well, of course not. It's, uh, uh... <laughs> Look, if I don't get started with the cleaning, I'll never get done. You're welcome to stay. And won't you do battle with grease and grime? Oh, no, thank you. Well, ta-ta, darling. Enjoy your tea. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the vacuuming in the attic. Oh, I'll never make it. Vacuum cleaner, I have a problem. I can spend four hours pushing you around and cleaning the attic, in which case I won't have any time to spend with Darren. Or I can, uh, well, you know, get it all done in a flash and relax for the rest of the afternoon with my husband. What do you think? Should I or shouldn't I? Oh, I thought you'd agree. <laughs> that dusty old attic. Sam, I'm home. Right there. Are you still vacuuming? <laughs> I call really automatic. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Sam? <laughs> I thought we agreed that housework was to be done in the usual manner. Well, I must have left the motor on. You also must have left detailed instructions. What happened to you? I've been upstairs cleaning the attic. It's very dirty up there, see? Uh, did you clean the attic the same way you were vacuuming the rug? Oh, Darren, really? Well, I, I just wanted us to have some time together, and, and, and I thought I wouldn't be finished in time, so I... A little, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, just a little. <laughs> By the way, where have you been? I called you from Larry's. Why are you questioning me like this? I'm not questioning you. I just want to know what you did while I was gone. Minute by minute? Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. First, I cleaned the left side of the refrigerator. Then I cleaned the right Sam! side. Sam! <laughs> You're deliberately not answering my question. I do not like being cross-examined by my husband. What, 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 what is that? What's what? That, that. Uh, oh, this? That's, yeah. Nothing? Do you usually wrap nothing in white tissue paper? Um, Darren, Mother came over and uh, we went out to lunch at a nice little Japanese tea room. And that's the last question I'm going to answer until you apologize. Sam, please. One more question. Where did you go? You want to know where I went? Yes. All right, I'll tell you. To the moon. <laughs> and one of these days... <laughs> so, you thought this was going to be just an ordinary Halloween. Well, this Halloween, Nickelodeon's giving away candy and a whole lot more as we unleash... Nick or Treat! The first annual Nick or Treat Halloween giveaway. Get a pen, get a piece of paper, get your two best friends, and get your parents. Parents? 
because you're spending Halloween weekend in Hollywood. You'll fly first class to the home of the movies, live it up in the posh Sheraton Premier Hotel. You'll have a chauffeur-driven limousine and 500 bucks to spend any way you want. Then... Welcome to the Berman Studio. And I'm Tom Berman. Hollywood's wizard of special makeup effects on movies like Star Trek 3 and Close Encounters will transform you into almost anything. Imagine a Halloween costume so fantastic even your mother won't know you. Plus, you and your friends will each get a Viewmaster Gremlin gift set. And your weight in delicious milk chocolate M&M. Melt in your mouth, not in your costume candy. To win, send a postcard with your name, address, age, and phone to Nick or Treat. GPO Box 2726, New York, New York, 10116. And get it here by October 15th. You gotta be 16 or under to enter. 100 runners-up get Viewmaster Gremlin gift sets. Enter now and win. It's Nickelodeon. Biggest contest ever! I'm looking for two fuzz named Friday again. You found him on Dragnet. Every night at 9 30, 8 30 Central on Nick at Night. We plant new trees to replace the ones we've used. That's why trees are called a renewable resource. Yeah, he gave us wood. My house is made out of wood. Yeah, we make a lot of things out of wood, but living trees give us oxygen to breathe. Right over there. there are so many ways we can help our planet. Working individually, working together. This is only one of our FFA projects. We're doing something. What about you? FFA, leadership for a growing planet. Kids, want to be Earth smart? Then this Sunday on cable, join Captain Planet and the Planeteers in their fight against the eco villains. Free pollution causing creep. Be a Planeteer. Then see the world through the eyes of a bear on HBO. The warm, lovable story of the bear. Look at all the things cable can do to make you Earth smart this Sunday. Look at all the things we are. On cable vision of Shreveport called him the master funny man of the age. Now for the first time ever, the legendary king of comedy and music is captured on video in the best of Victor Borga. Pardon me, madam, are you laying eggs? Recorded live, this collector's edition of Priceless Comedy is a must for every Victor Borga fan. It's the incomparable Victor Borga in his best love, most heartwarming comedy performance of all time. <laughs> the best of Victor Borga on VHS is only $19.95 plus $3.95 postage and handling. To order your personal copy, you must act now. Mr. Stevens, what'll it be today? Heartburn, headaches, lower back pains, nasal congestion? You name it, I can fix it. Okay, it's nothing like that. I want to ask a favor. Well, uh, could you analyze these? Analyze? What kind of analyze? <laughs> Look, Mr. Stevens, I'm a druggist, not a chemical engineer. If I was a chemist, would I be open on Sunday afternoon? That's the whole point. All the laboratories are closed, and I want to find out what this stuff is as soon as possible. It, uh... It's a matter of national importance. <laughs> looks like dust. It looks like dust. I want you to find out what that really is. <laughs> You mean you might be allergic? Oh, that's right, Mr. Grant. I'm afraid I'm allergic. And this by you is of national importance? <laughs> Mr. Grant, just find out what it is. Hey, this one. That's supposed to be tea. <laughs> You're a good customer, Mr. Stevens. I'll see what I can do. But I don't promise I can do anything this afternoon. My wife's brother is coming from out of town. And to my wife, he's of national importance. So I'm closing the store an hour earlier. Well, as soon as you can. I'll be by first thing in the morning. And thank you, Mr. Grant. Darren, since you're...
since you insist on knowing where I am every minute of the day, Tabitha and I have gone to the market to pick up a few things for dinner. Any further questions will have to wait until we get home. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> An informer. Spying on my own wife. What happens if that stuff actually turns out to be from the moon? <laughs> what do I do then? Report it to NASA? <laughs> of course, Mr. Stevens, you know we don't waste time here at NASA. We're going to race to the moon with the Russians, and we're going to win it. Right, Frank? Right, Ed. Well, I can't keep... <laughs> I can't give you these unless you promise not to ask me where I got them. What is it, Stevens? Conditions? When the prestige of your country is involved? I can't reveal myself. <laughs> I cannot reveal my sources. Unless you agree, no deal. Mr. Stevens, why should we want to pry into your private affairs? Why, well, that's ridiculous. Isn't it, Ed? Of course, ridiculous. Now, Mr. Stevens, what's in the envelope? Well, it, it looks like uh, house dust and tea, but I think... House dust and tea, huh? We'll find out about that. Run over to the lab, Frank. Right, Ed. Moon dust and lunar tea. <laughs> All right, Stevens, that's it. Where'd you get it? I can't tell you. Cut the jazz, Stevens. You're in serious trouble. Where'd you get it? I won't tell you. Who gave it to you? No one. Does anybody else know about this? No. You're lying. <laughs> what did you tell him? I said it was his patriotic duty to go to the authorities and tell them everything he knew. Tell them, Darren. I can't. They won't let me watch a golf tournament if you don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to worm out of this. We know all about you, Stevens. We have an account of your activities hour by hour. Listen, I'm just a simple neighborhood druggist. Who has to stay open Sunday afternoons. Never mind about that. What about him? Oh, such a nice man. Lovely wife, an adorable daughter. Funny name, though. <laughs> Who could know that he was a spy? <laughs> Your wife? What does she know about this? Nothing. I, I swear she knows nothing about it. And where did you get it? I refuse to answer on the grounds that it might tend to incriminate she. Me. <laughs> oh, she is involved. Bring her in, Frank. Right, Ed. No! All right, Stevens, who's this woman? I never saw her before in my life. Next. How about this one? Her? I've seen. <laughs> oh, Darren, how could you? What's going to become of Tabitha? Sam, I'm sorry. I tried to protect you, but they wormed it out of me. We were only gone for a little while. Mother wanted to get some tea. You see, you wouldn't listen to me. That's what comes of marrying a mortal. They're so nosy and suspicious. Always wanting to know what you're going to do every minute of the day. Well, you're right, Mother. You're absolutely right. I must admit it. He was suspicious. He did ask questions. No. No. Yes, yes. All right, Mrs. Stevens, it's time. Come along, Mrs. Stevens. It's time. Oh, no, no, not yet. Please, just one more minute. NASA can't wait, Mrs. Stevens. We're in a race. It's time. Leave her alone. It's my fault. For once, you're right, Dagwood. It is your fault. Oh, Darren. 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 That's my, all my fault. No, no, June, Darren. no. no, no. Darren, wait, wait. Come. June, come on. Darren, Sam, come on. Sam. Sam. You're, you're here. They didn't take you. Who? The NASA man. NASA man? That's a new one. Is there anything like Boogeyman? <laughs> Oh, relax, sweetheart. You just had a bad dream. Oh. Well, well where, where's, where's Tabitha? She's upstairs asleep. What were you dreaming about? Well, the NASA man. Uh, the space agency. They, they were giving me the third degree about uh, uh, where did I get the moon dust. Moon dust? Yeah. Your mother was there, and Mary Tate was there, and Grand. Grand! 
What's grand? That's grand! The druggist! I gave him the dust and the tea to be analyzed! Sam, why did you have to go to the moon, especially after we'd just talked about it? Darren, are you sure you're awake? Oh, come on, Sam. I know all about it. While I was at Larry Tate's this morning, you and your mother went to the moon. And when you came back, you were all covered with moon dust and you had that package of lunar tea. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! And when I came back... When I came back from Larry's and I said, Samantha, where have you been? Did you not say, and I quote, to the moon? Darren, if I told you I'd been to the North Star, would you believe me? I was only kidding. Sam, when any other woman says, I've been to the moon, you figure, well, that's just a figure of speech. But when you say, I've been to the moon, well, that's something else altogether. When I saw that dust, I knew Darren, you'd been to the moon. Darren, mother came by and she insisted I go shopping with her. Shop? <laughs> Sam... It's Sunday, all the stores are closed. Not in Japan. In Japan, it's Monday. And that's where we went, and, and that's all there is to it. Japan? Are you asking me to believe that? <laughs> you believe I went to the moon, and you don't believe I went to Japan? You said you went to the moon. It's only because I was so annoyed at you for asking so many silly questions. Then you haven't been to the moon? Not recently, no. <laughs> Sam! I swear and affirm that I have not left the Earth today. Really? Mm-hmm. Really, really? Really, really. Oh, darling, that's marvelous. <laughs> oh, I don't even feel so bad about being such a fool with Mr. Grand. <laughs> Imagine giving him ordinary house dust to analyze. <laughs> Oh, I bet he thinks you're spooky. <laughs> yes. Ordinary house vest and, uh, and ordinary Japanese tea. <laughs> uh, Darren. Darren, it isn't ordinary Japanese tea. Mm. What, um, what is it? It's, it's warlock tea. It's warlock tea. It's warlock tea! <laughs> oh, no, Sam! Uh, Mr. Grant is going to analyze it and he's going to think that... I don't know what he's going to think. Well, well, Darren, I don't think there's anything to worry about. No. I mean, he'll just think it's something he's never seen before, and that'll be the end of that. Yeah, and I, I hope you're right. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think you're right. <laughs> no. Mr. Stevens, about that matter of national importance, the stuff that looks like uh, house dust, it is house dust. <laughs> no microfilm, no nothing. Just house dust. Well, thank you for your trouble, Mr. Grand. You... But that other stuff, the stuff that looks like tea. Uh, that was a mistake. That uh, is tea. Ah, that's where you're wrong. I put it to every test I've got, and there's something in it that is definitely not tea. I even showed it to my brother-in-law, the one from NASA. NASA? <laughs> Uh, your brother-in-law's from NASA? Yeah, he's visiting us for the weekend with the kids. Uh, uh, Mr. Grant, don't do another thing. Uh, just forget about it. You've gone to enough trouble. Oh, no trouble at all. Look, we've got to pass your place on our way home. We'll drop it off. See you in a few minutes. Mr. Grant! Sam, I wish you'd go upstairs and let me handle this. Well, no, I think it'll sound more logical coming from me. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> M Mr. Grand, I want to apologize for causing you so much trouble, especially since it was all an accident. You see, my mother's always been very fond of home remedies. You know how old-fashioned some mothers can be. Well, when she discovered that Darren was allergic to dust, she decided that she just had to give him one of her favorite home remedies. She said it was some special kind of tea, you know. But uh, Darren's always been a little bit suspicious of home remedies. That's why he gave it to you to analyze. Well, it turns out that it's not tea at all. No, no. I talked to Mother, and she admitted that it was a special blend of herbs and spices that she got from a Japanese herbalist. <laughs> now, I know they do come up with some strange concoctions. Lady. Yes? This stuff is more than strange. <laughs> hey, what happened? There's no wind tonight. Oh, it does come up suddenly sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, what a shame. That was the last of it, too. Mr. and Mrs. Stevens, I want you to meet my brother-in-law, Harry Kahn from NASA. Hello. Uh, how do you do? You mean you don't have any more of this? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid you'll just have to go back and tell them at the space agency. What space agency? I own a string of cart rate drugstores. You, you mean you're not from NASA? Sure. Nassau County, Long Island. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with him? Oh, 
Oh, it must be his allergy. Mm. Night air. Very bad, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Grand. Uh, Mr. Khan, it was uh, nice meeting you. Uh, good, good night. It was a nice meeting. <laughs> Darren, are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, I'll fix you a nice cup of tea. Uh, no, no tea. <laughs> but how about a moonlight cocktail? <laughs> They're squirmy and wormy and purple and green. The grossest little creatures that you've ever seen. Creepy crawlers. Fill the monster mold with the colored plastic goop and make a creepy crawler from my yucky monster soup. They're ucky, yucky, squirmy, wormy, very scary, sometimes hairy, squiggly, wiggly, creepy crawling. Creepy crawlers. Gross out your sister, embarrass your dad. You can be a little creep without being bad. Creepy crawlers workshop with plastic goop. Honey? I have two surprises for you. First, Honey Nut Cheerios is made with nutritious whole grain oats. And second, the dog has learned to sing. <clears throat> That's incredible. Honey Nut Cheerios, nutritious whole grain oats? Surprisingly, Honey Nut Cheerios is more than just delicious nuts and honey. It's made with nutritious whole grain oats. It's incredible, incredible, yeah. My sentiments exactly. Here's the Honey Nut Cheerios. Sent forth on a quest from TV land. Bringing truth and justice in his hand. It's homogenized. It's the plan. Brought to you by Nick at Night. Tonight's episode, The Prom. Waiting for someone? Not anymore. I was waiting for Buck, my prom date. Prom? Aren't you a little, well, old? I've been waiting for him for 17... <coughs> years. Wow, this buck must be a pretty special fella. I loved him, Milkman, but I've got to get on with my life. Don't give up. Let's take a spin around the block. Maybe you got the address wrong. That wouldn't be your young man, would it? Buck! Louise? <sighs> that prom dance is over. But you two go out and have a good time tonight. On me. Gosh! Thanks, Milkman! Brought to you by Nick at Night, dedicated to better living through television. Not again. Aren't you tired of running to replace your pantyhose? Well, now there's no more runs. Guaranteed never to run. Ever. The secret is Smart Nylon. It actually stops a run before it starts. Look, we'll run a nail file right down this leg. But these pantyhose are no more runs. Abuse them, bruise them. You're still able to use them. Not even this pot scourer can harm no more runs. Yet they're so sheer, it's like wearing silk. You get four pairs for only $19.95. If any pair ever runs, we'll replace it with two pairs free. Control Top now available. So use your credit card and call now. Have your credit card ready and call 1 800 767 9300 to send check or money order to the address shown. You can order no more runs in nude, suntan, or black available in all sizes. Control Top is also available for an additional charge. So call 1 800 767 9300. Darren? Come look at the lady in the moon. What moon? Besides, it's a man. How do you know it's a man? Everybody knows it's a man. Just look at it. Could be a lady. You know, I've been meaning to ask you something. You said that, um, you hadn't been to the moon today, but you didn't say that you'd never been to the moon. Hmm? Hmm, have you? Have I what? Been to the moon. Or ever. Darren, you don't want to know everything about me, do you? I mean, there are some things a wife should not tell a husband, and um, whether or not she has been to the moon is one of them. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Dumpy the Pumpkin, Carvel's Halloween Ice Cream Cake. I weigh 44 ounces and serve 10 to 12 people. Happy Halloween party! I'm Wiki the Witch, and I weigh 45 ounces. We're both made fresh daily at your participating Carvel 
ice cream store. You want to send one to a friend? Please phone 800-327-GIFT and call the cake honors most major credit cards. Thank you. Alien Fever. I am Mindy Catwoman from Mars. <laughs> Catch it on Mork and Mindy, weeknights on Nick at Night. Series spanning generations of greed and deceit. Sidney Sheldon's Master of the Game, beginning March 20th exclusively on TBS. It's new, it's hot, it's electrifying, and only we have it. It's Star Trek The Next Generation, now on video cassette. And it's yours for just $4.95 for your introductory video cassette. In Encounter at Farpoint, Captain Picard and his crew are captured. We surrender. And must solve the mystery of Farpoint Station or perish. In this galaxy, it's the two-hour series premiere. Yours for just $4.95. Then your mission continues as future episodes such as The Naked Now, Haven, Code of Honor, and others take you farther, faster, to even more unusual worlds. So start your collection today with Star Trek The Next Generation. Yours on video cassette for just $4.95. Remember, Star Trek The Next Generation is not available here in any store. So to get your introductory video cassette for just $4.95, call now. Whether you like color or black and white, you get good TV with Nick at Night. Brand reruns. Experts at Magic Manor have everything you'll need this year, including actual character masks from famous motion pictures. And they can show you the proper application of makeup to impress that special someone. Magic Manor's professional hand-painted custom masks start as low as $2.50. This Halloween, remember Magic Manor. Wigs, masks, makeup, costumes, shockingly authentic. Magic Manor, East Wind Mall. This is the city. This is the car. This is the man. My name's Friday. The show, Dragnet, every night on Nick at Night. This vehicle can take you to places no other vehicle can. To strange worlds and even stranger life forms. To the silicon landscapes of tomorrow's supercomputers. This incredible vehicle can take you as far as your ability and imagination will allow. But only if you don't bail out. So stay in school. This message was brought to you by the United States Air Force. If there was music television in my generation, you would have seen all the legends in action. 
music that lives forever. And we would have called it My Generation if there'd only been a place like VH1. My Generation, wouldn't it be great? Well, VH1 just did it. My Generation, every night on cable. I love it. But will you love me tomorrow? On Cablevision of Shreveport. Hi, I'm a Boglin. Me and my buddies want to be your friend, right, guys? Right. right. Call us at 1-900-909-5464 and hear how we can protect you from ferocious beasts. <gasps> and help you teach a great your math test. Yeah, a new story every day. One call gets you a 3D Boglin hologram like this. Four calls get you a set of six. Trade them with your buddies. And part of your $2.35 two-minute call goes to Special Olympics. So get your parents' permission and call us at 1-900-909-5464. Go get the phone. I said get it, not eat it. Hitchcock's not done with you yet. Honest. So stay with Nick at Night. Boy, you should drink a lot of orange juice. Uh-huh. How come? Because I like it. I like it, too. Better than apple juice? Uh-huh. How come? Because it's good and good for you. Yeah. Orange juice. It's got the vitamins, minerals, and taste that make you feel so good. If I drink a lot of orange juice, I get bigger as you. Yeah, but um, you'll still be my little brother. 100% pure Florida quality orange juice. It makes you feel so good. Soft and dry sports style formula. Going for the big prize. Let the game begin. The one who stays the coolest is the one who's gonna win. So if you wanna see Soft and dry sports style formula. Helps an active woman stay cool. Soft and dry. Whether you like color or black and white, you get good TV with Nick at Night. Brand free run. Flora. Wife of Humphrey J. Orford. Died November 1793, age 19. Your wife. Humphrey, you never told me you'd been married before. She died 20 years ago. But we're going to have our wedding in this church. So close to her grave, it seems. I'm sorry if it upsets you. But the inscription. She was your wife. Why didn't you have some kind remembrance of her carved on the stone? She was vicious, she was unfaithful, she was a liar. To let her be buried here at all was a gesture of kindness on my part. Humphrey, must we be married in this church? Darling, we've already sent out the invitations. We're being married on Wednesday. We can't change the church now. So close to her grave. I feel she could almost reach up and touch me. Good evening, Mrs. Boyd. Mr. Orford at home? No, Dr. Linden, he isn't. Is my daughter here? No, they've gone to the church to see about the music for their wedding, but they'll be back soon. Oh, yes. Uh, are your lodgings comfortable? Yes, thank you, quite comfortable. <laughs> Much too comfortable, in fact. You know, a country doctor cannot afford to live so luxuriously. Mr. Orford chose them himself. They're only a few minutes away. Oh, my daughter's enchanted to be in London. She'll find the house strange at first, but in time she'll get used to it. Papa! I hope we haven't kept you waiting. No, 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 I've only just arrived. Humphrey, the house looks exactly as I remembered it. Oh, yes, I never redecorated it. Why should I, living here alone? But we're going to change all that, aren't we? You can start any time you like. There's a lot to do. I've never seen the rooms upstairs. You never asked, my dear. You can see the bedrooms now, if you like. It's your study that interests me most. The place where you write. Oh. Well, the study is littered with papers and books. I feel quite ashamed to let anyone see it now. Let's wait till Mrs. Boyd can make it look presentable. 
A glass of sherry, Doctor? Thank you. A study. Should be littered with books and papers. I want to see it exactly as it is when you're working in it. Do you mind, Humphrey? Not at all. Come with me, please. I hope you won't find it too shocking. When Mrs. Boyd tidies my study, I usually find my most important papers in the waste paper basket. So I keep the place locked. I warned you the place is something of a mess. Over here are the books I have collected in connection with my work on the early Christian martyrs. Uh, these, I suppose, are my choicest treasures. This is the life of St. Sebastian, according to St. Ambrose. And this is the Acta Sanctorum of St. Sebastian, attributed quite wrongly to St. Ambrose, too. Sebastian's missionary zeal upset the Emperor Diocletian, who had him tied to a stake and shot at by the royal archers. Sebastian's agony was exquisite. In that condition, the victim's pain becomes pleasure, so that those who inflict it can hardly be called torturers or even sinners. What is this doing here? What is it, my dear? It's a silk petticoat. There's a needle and thread in it. Somebody's been mending it. Well, it probably belongs to Mrs. Boyd. She must have been in here cleaning. But it's a party petticoat. It couldn't belong to Mrs. Boyd. Why don't you ask her, my dear? Perhaps she was mending it for someone else. As I was saying, in that condition, pain becomes pleasure. Those who inflict it might be called cathartic agents, since their instruments of so-called torture are really instruments of purification. <gasps> Whatever is it, Lisa. Could I go home, Father? Don't you feel well, my dear? I feel faint. You come downstairs, I'll get you something to drink. I'd rather not. I'd rather go back to our lodgings. They're just across the square. The fresh air might... You must have something. I'll get you some brandy. Well, Lisa, my dear, what is this? What is it? Look, Papa. Why would anyone want to live with such a horrifying painting? Well, I suppose it must signify something to him. Papa, I don't know what is happening to me. Suddenly I'm terrified of that man. Of Humphrey? Don't be absurd, my dear. This room... This room is so strange. When he talked about St. Sebastian, when he spoke about torture... He seemed to revel in it. Did you see his face? He was, he was a different man. There's something evil here. Some evil presence. You're thinking ridiculous things. Humphrey's a fine man. Man you should be proud of. Instruments of torture. That are really instruments of Pleasure and purification. I'm frightened, Papa. I tell you, I'm frightened. Are you feeling better? Yes. Well, Humphrey, I think we'd better be going. Lisa should be lying down. May I see you in the morning at the solicitor's? I'll call for you at nine o'clock. Everything's ready. All that requires is our signatures and then back for the ceremony. Elisa? I know this is a gloomy old place to live in, but if you like, we'll leave for Italy immediately after the wedding. Would you like that? You're very kind to me, Humphrey. Thank you. I do appreciate it. If you'll excuse me a moment, I'll see you at the door. Papa, did you know that he'd been married before? Of course, my dear. Did you know his first wife? I heard about her, that's all.
Elisa, something I have not told you. I'm in Humphrey's debt, very deeply too. And if I marry him... He'll settle my debt. And there's another thing we have to remember. There hasn't been anyone straining for your hand. You've forgotten Philip. Why do you bring up Philip all the time? You haven't heard from him for months. I understand. I'll marry Humphrey. You'll never regret it, my dear. Oh, Miss Mindon. Mr. Orford is out. I know, it doesn't matter. It was you I came to see. Oh. Mr. Orford has told me that I may redecorate the house exactly as I please. I thought I'd go over the rooms one by one. I'd like to start with his study. But, ma'am, Mr. Orford always keeps the study door locked. But you have a key. No, ma'am. I do not have a key. But you must know where it is kept. No, ma'am, I do not. Mrs. Boyd, we're going to be spending a great deal of time in each other's company, aren't we? Yes, ma'am, I hope so. Well, then we mustn't have any secrets from each other, must we? No, ma'am, we mustn't. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that Mr. Orford doesn't even let me clean the study. Not even to clean it? No, ma'am. Well, then let's start with the other rooms upstairs, shall we? I would like your advice. You know the house so much better than I do. Well, as Mr. Orford is not here, you know, ever since the first Mrs. Orford died, this house has become gloomier and gloomier. It's a pleasure to think that someone is coming to brighten it up. I wish we could have just a little peep at the study. I have so many ideas about it. I've never been in that room. What? Not since Mrs. Orford died. But Mr. Orford said... Why haven't you been in there? More than once I've had the key in the lock, but somehow I couldn't bring myself to turn it. Well, let's do it together now, shall we? Oh, ma'am. Please, Mrs. Boyd. If I do let you in, you won't tell him, will you? No, of course not. doesn't even know I know where the key is hidden. Well, oh, ma'am, promise me that you'll never tell me. I promise. Musty. That's what it is. Mrs. Boyd, you said you hadn't been in here for years, didn't you? Well, no one ever comes in here. Then how did your petticoat get in here? My petticoat? When we were here before, I noticed a silk petticoat on that chair. Mr. Orford said it was yours. Mine, ma'am. But I told you I've never been in here since his first wife died. No one has. Mr. Orford wouldn't allow it. Mrs. Boyd, I need your help. Will you help me, please? Tell me about the first Mrs. Orford. Who was she? There's no mystery about her. She was a daughter of Mr. Orford's gamekeeper. Wasn't a lady of quality at all, but oh so pretty. Were they very much in love? Well, a month after they were married, he found her with a lover. At least that's what I've heard. Did she die in this house? Yes, ma'am. Of what? Of terror. Or hatred. And the man, the lover, what happened to him? There he is. Alisa? Oh. You may go, Mrs. Boyd. If there's anything you want to find out, why don't you ask me? I know so much more than the servants. Now, tell me. 
What would you like to know about the man in that painting? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have come here. No, no, your curiosity is quite natural. Humphrey, please. I found them together in this house, though I had him arrested for housebreaking. And as I happened to be justice of the peace, the jury found the wretch guilty and he was hanged. Until he was quite, quite dead. <laughs> This Halloween, capture your ghosts and goblins on genuine Kodak film from Thrifty. Whether it's print, slide, or movie film, Kodak is the choice of professionals. Thrifty carries a full line of Kodak film, including C12624 exposure, C110 and C135 24 exposure in regular and high-speed print film, KR135 36 exposure slide film, and Super 8 movie film. Remember, the sharper you want your memories, the more you need Kodak film and Thrifty. Tomorrow morning, experience a new high. Introducing Mountain Fresh Dial with a scent so big, so bold, so bracing, it's right up there with your peak experiences. New Mountain Fresh Dial. Burger King takes on America's favorite breakfast. Today, the same old thing, prepackaged and efficient, same old, same old. At Burger King, we've got the new sausage breakfast buddy sandwich for just 59 cents. It's eggs and cheese with spicy sausage, all on a little buddy bun. It's definitely not the same old, same old. The new sausage breakfast buddy for just 59 cents, only at Burger King. Now, for a limited time, buy a new breakfast buddy and get a free Schick Slim Twin disposable razor. There's a vacancy at the Bates Motel. Norman, is that you? No, it's Spuds McKenzie, and it could be you. Look for this display and enter Bud Light Psycho Sweepstakes to win a Bud Light party with Spuds McKenzie at the Psycho Mansion. You can even get a mug like Spuds at participating retailers. Wow! That Spuds is so cool, it's scary. <laughs> Come on, honey. I'm boarding. Yeah, Grandma's going to be so happy to see you. Oh, no. What? Her legs are all wet. And I just bought special girl diapers so this wouldn't happen. To help stop leaks, diapers need to be more than pink or blue. Introducing Love's XC. Extra customized where girls leak most with 70% wider leg bands. Extra customized for boys with 40% more waistband. And Love still have exclusive leak guard. Morning, sweetie. We got a plane to catch. Is she dry? Yeah. Glad we switched to these cute new loves. They really do work, huh? So why not leave her here with me? <laughs> <laughs> new loves XC. Customized leakage protection in all the right places. This is the way it has always been. The sun has always blessed the land. And our ways have always passed to caring hands. You'll find the taste of that purity and goodness in every jar of Smucker's Preserves and Jellies. With a name like Smucker's, it has to be good. I've got the seated chest all ready with the camphor to lay your dress away. I don't want to see it again. Oh, ma'am, you mustn't be unhappy. Miss Drawford has his peculiarities, but then what man is perfect? I'm afraid of him. But she's made him what he is. You must, you must make him something better, something different. I'm afraid of him. Come in. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. Who is it? Uh, Lieutenant Philip Haven. He says he's your cousin home from India. I only arrived in London this morning and heard the news about your marriage. I'm so glad to see you, Philip. This is my cousin, Philip Haven. He has just returned from three years in India. I've introduced myself. Of course. I've never seen you in regimentals before. You look so handsome. Never take them off, young man. If you do, you might look just like any other young man. How long will you be staying here, Philip? Two months, that's all. Well, we are going to Italy tomorrow, but when we return, I hope... Elisa... Don't you think you should be changing? Oh, let's have a glass of wine, at least, with Philip first. I must prepare for our journey tomorrow, if you'll excuse me. 
It's nice to have met a cousin of my wife's. Your husband seems to think I've called at the wrong moment. Of course not. Now, we must have a glass of champagne. You must drink to my happiness. No, please don't. I'd better go. I can wish you happiness without a glass of champagne. Oh, but you've only just arrived. You must tell me all about India and about your life in the army. You hardly wrote to me at all. Well, I, I was ill with malaria in March. It was two months before I got better. That's why they let me come home. I wasn't due until September. And you love the army, don't you? Yes, and I, I love India. So a lot of the country. It'll be good to go back. Well, goodbye, Elisa. But we will see you when we return, won't we? Perhaps. Philip, promise me you will come and see us. I'll try. Philip. I wish you'd written. My dear, let's drink a toast to our marriage. Your cousin's visit this afternoon was rather unexpected, wasn't it? Completely. He heard about our marriage and he wanted to wish us both happiness. It was very thoughtful of him. When you get to know him better, I'm sure you will like him. I think that's extremely unlikely. But you, you like him, you're fond of him, shall we say? He is my cousin, after all. And is he fond of you? He used to be. Was he in love with you? We were so young. And were you in love with him? I suppose I was. But that's all past now. He was whispering to you in the hall. As he was going, when you kissed him, he was whispering to you. Why would he whisper? You were arranging to meet you when we get back to Italy. Humphrey, please. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. I asked him to visit us when we return from Italy. Do you think I want to start another marriage with lies? If anyone is lying, it is you. A few hours ago, you swore a solemn oath. I've had some experience of a wife who betrayed that oath. I shouldn't want it to happen again. <laughs> Would you come upstairs, please? Well, what's the matter, my dear? He were to have left half an hour ago, but Humphrey's locked in his study and he won't answer. Well, get the key, my dear. There's only one key and it's gone. Humphrey! Humphrey! Papa, there's something dreadfully wrong. I'm sure of it. I can't... Humphrey! 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 <laughs> He's dead. He's been stabbed. But who could have done it with the door locked? door was locked from the inside. Papa! Look! It's that petticoat.
his wife, Flora. She's still alive. She must have stabbed him with a paper knife. Oh, you poor, poor thing. All these years, he's kept her locked up here. Why doesn't she say something? Poor woman's lost her reason. Then it was her petticoat. Yes. she call for help all these years why didn't she cry out he saw to that he cut out her tongue This seems to be the end of my attempted escape. As for our story, however, there is a bit more. Shortly after the scene you have just witnessed, the police entered the picture, but because of the circumstances, justice was tempered with mercy. If tonight's story seemed a bit strong for you, perhaps you would like to escape into the delightful make-believe of one of our commercials, after which I representing grim reality shall return Quaker granola dips a hauntingly wholesome halloween treat chewy granola dipped in real milk chocolate chocolate granola lose my self control granola the perfect treat for your little monsters. <laughs> In the tradition of history's classic love stories, Romeo and Juliet, John Smith and Pocahontas, Nick at Night presents Mark and Mindy. Fate brought them face to face. Here's to the nicest alien I've ever met. Mark and Mindy, their feelings threaten to tear them apart. Heavy sigh, anxiety, anger mixed with inner turmoil. Mark and Mindy. On this crazy planet called Earth, can love keep them together? Mork and Mindy, TV Land Star Cross Pair, weeknights on. No, 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 no. You say your eyes are red, irritated, dry? Don't hide them. Help them with clear eyes. It gets rid of the redness, and unlike the leading brand, has an extra moisturizing ingredient. Remember, clear eyes moisturizes too. So, how did new Kellogg cinnamon mini buns come to pass? No lie. I'm driving along, all this load of dead cinnamon buns, when I, whoa, I start shrinking. But don't know it till I make my delivery. Bummer. What do I do with these buns? Then I get this idea. New Kellogg Cinnamon Mini Buns. The cinnamon part of this complete breakfast. Mmm. Mega taste and crunchy mini buns. Cinnamon mini buns. Get it? True story. Hey, Eddie, didn't you bring your lunch? This is junior high. You don't bring your lunch. You buy your lunch. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Do you want an apple juice? This is junior high. You don't drink apple juice. You drink orange juice. Yeah, right. Orange juice. It's got the vitamins, minerals, and taste that make you feel so good. Hey, Eddie, you shouldn't serve your orange juice. Why not? Because this is junior high. 100% pure, throttled quality orange juice. It makes you feel so good. coming. What are you going to do about it? Whether you do a little or a lot, be an original this Halloween and find yourself at Hallmark. Hallmark has a way and at participating Hallmark stores, get your hands on the spooky soundstage. 
full of creepy sounds and Halloween theme songs. $1.95 with any $5 Hallmark purchase. Only at participating Hallmark stores. Ah! It's a scream. Where will you find the loonies of late night TV? Maybe on a show about new age real estate. Maybe on Psychic Love Chat. But if you're looking for the loonies you love, look no further than Nick at Night. Ah! That's right. Nick at Night Overnight now begins with Looney Tunes, providing your late night with a dose of the gleeful, mindless violence you need when you need it most. So take a TV land detour into cartoon country. What more could a rabbit want? And watch Looney Tunes on Nick at Night, most nights at midnight, 11 Central. This week, America's most popular brand of appliances on sale at Sears Brand Central, where this giant 20 cubic foot Kenmore refrigerator with adjustable split shelves is at its lowest price ever. But only while quantities last, and only at Sears Brand Central. Facing the world with a cold sore can be very embarrassing, so I don't put up with it any longer than I have to. I use Camphophenic Cold Sore Gel. It stops the pain and it speeds the healing. Camphophenic Cold Sore Gel helps me face the world. I don't understand. There must be something in the atmosphere that makes otherwise strong ropes and ladders shatter under my weight. Next week, if I escape in time, we shall have another story. Until then, good night. <laughs> Relentless terror comes your way on Halloween Madness, a night of fright on Nick at Night. <laughs>